Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you know. Before we start, we welcome everybody, including Muslims, to have a good discussion with us. You know, uh, Muslims, they try to promote their religion as much as they can. Almost every second, there is somebody posting either in Facebook or in Twitter something about Islam. <clears throat> and, you know, that thing uh, sometimes is like, you wonder, I mean, what the Muslims are talking about. Uh, if you try to read the comments, I mean, even you cannot read them because they are fast. They become, you know, one after one. But I find that, uh, you know, like as an example here, the person saying the Quran is speaking about the water which is fresh and of which is salty and they don't mix together. So what we can say that Muslims in, in every form, they try to promote their religion using mostly 99.9% of fabricated verses in the Quran, or let's say fabricated meaning, to promote their belief. Uh, I never saw one article speaking about Islam was truthful, not a single one. And that is always, you know, uh, will, will raise a question. Can't you find one Muslim is saying the truth about his religion? Why always we see a fabricated article speaking about Quran, speaking about Allah teaching, speaking about Islam, and we cannot find, and if we find somebody is a truthful, actually, they will say he is not Muslim, he's ISIS. That's the truth. Uh, <clears throat> so I don't know if uh, if those, uh, is, is the Twitter uh, clear for you guys? You can read? Is the tweets in Twitter are clear? Can you read from your side? Let me know if you can read them. If not, I can I can resize uh, the tweet. So as you see here, the promotion never stop. The promotion to Islam never stop, but still, Islam is the most funny cult ever you can imagine. And the Quran, it doesn't matter how much you try to fabricate stories and try to false fiction translation of the Quran. Still, the Quran is the most funny book. We can prove it in two seconds. Now look how many tweet, but how many Muslims are willing to call me, prove me wrong? How many Muslims are willing to call me right now as we speak? Like this guy here says, praise be to Allah, the one who sent the book without uh, awaj, which means in the language. But the Quran, the word Quran itself is not Arabic. I mean, imagine they say that this is a book have no, uh, uh, like, uh, no problem in the Arabic. But most of the book is not Arabic. Actually, the first verse Allah he sent to Muhammad, he used many words, which is in Arabic. As an example, al qalam, qalam, pen. You know, this is not Arabic word. Alaq is not Arabic word. I mean, name it. Jibril. Who is Jibril? This is not Arabic word. I mean, but they say to you, Allah is not an Arabic word. And yet, this book have no awaj, have no crock in it. But the teaching. The the scriptures, Muhammad words. However, today we are going to focus in a few things. Three reasons will make you know will will like they can go to branches. They can go to a hundred of branches. Uh, that Allah cannot be God. Number one, there is no way that God is ignorant. So from God is ignorant, we can say God is fool. God is a stupid. God, he do not know. God, he need education. God, he need to go to school. God uh, uh, is foolish. I mean, you name it. And we can prove that easy in less than two seconds. Second reason, <laughs> you know, who is this uh, God, Allah? Even Muslims do not know what the word Allah means. If you go and see articles made by Muslims or even by some who they su supposedly they claim to be educated, <clears throat> I look in the internet just to show you an example of the fabrication and how people they fool you claiming that they have knowledge let us switch to the screen and turn this tweet off somebody using bad language uh, this is an article about who is Allah okay who is Allah understanding God in Islam According to Islamic statement witnesses, Shahada or Shahada, there is no God but Allah. 
Uh, Muslim believe he created the world in six days. He sent prophets such, such as Noah, Abraham, Moses, David, Jesus, and the lastly, Muhammad, who called uh, people to worship only him, uh, rejecting idolatry and uh, polytheism. Now, this is true. Islam is a promote idolatry, and Islam speak about one God, but they don't know who is their God. So, isn't it Muslims? Is it Muhammad who taught Muslims to kiss the black stone the same as the Arab used to do before? Is it Muhammad who says the one who kissed a black stone or touch it and the Yemeni corner, Allah forgive his sin? You don't like to say things without proving it. But just to show you how they give you definition for things which is far away from the truth. But, but you know, people, they are copy-paste. Copy-paste is a very popular these days and everybody claim knowledge. Like, you know, you want to debate somebody, he says to you, give me two months. And then he go to the internet, he print 1,000 pages and then he go to the stage and he read them. And suppose it is a debate. This is why they want to know the topic because they are not, they have no knowledge. As you see here, Muhammad saying, uh, Abu Abdul Rahman, I ask him, why do I only see you touching those two stones, two corners? Two corners, which is two stones. Uh, he said, I heard Messenger of Allah saying, touching them erases sin. And I had him saying, whoever circum uh, circum around the seventh time is like feeling a free and a slave. So don't free a slave, just go around the Kaaba seven times. So Muhammad, he, in order to stop freeing slaves, you know, he told them, okay, well, <clears throat> go around the Kaaba. I have a trick for you. And in order for him to say I uh, to the Arab, uh, to say, I believe in the same as you believe, okay, I believe that those stones will forgive your sin. How Muhammad is against idolatry, and then yet he believe that kissing stones and touching stones will erase your sin, you tell me. If there is any Muslim there, have anything to say please feel free you are welcome to call us and I will open my Skype just to be sure that I can receive Muslim calls and only Muslims can call me if anyone is not a Muslim I will hang up on you <clears throat> uh, and the reason I say only Muslims because we want to hear the sound of the Muslims the voice of the Muslims we don't want to make it like two, uh, the same as Muslims they do in their programs, like two Muslims talking, attacking Christianity, and both of them, they agree with each other. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> That's another silly stuff they do. And another thing, you notice when you debate with Muslims, uh, as an example, uh, many of you remember, there is a debate happening between uh, David Wood <clears throat> and a guy, his name, uh, Mimi Hijab. Now, uh, if you watch the debate, you will feel you will see from the first second the debate started to the last second This guy in the stage who is debating the David Wood he's lying You see one of the clear signs of a cult that it encouraged its followers to lie and Lying about Islam is a great sign by the way. That's mean they knew Islam is false. Otherwise, why do you need to lie? You do not you do not need to lie if somebody now says, hey, hey, Christian Prince, do you believe that Jesus is born of Mary and she was virgin? And he is an atheist. I would say, yeah. And he will laugh. Still, I would say, yeah. He don't believe this is his business. So Muslims, in order, because they knew that Islam is false, in order to defend their lie, and this is the funny, uh, will take us to other side of Islam, which is the second reason Islam cannot be from God. Islam is not ethical. And the one who taught Muslims they can lie is Allah. In many places in the Quran, <clears throat> as an example, not necessarily only one, uh, you can take a false oath and you are fine. You can swear by Allah, and you are fine. As long as you don't mean it. So a Muslim, he swear to Allah when he speak to me, I swear by Allah that this is what we teach in Islam, but as long as you don't mean it, it's okay. Allah, because Allah judge him by the intention of his heart. Do you see it? So a Muslim, when he swear to you, by Allah, he can swear 1,000 times he did not commit a single sin according to Islam because Allah, he only take you accountable for your 
truthful uh, uh, oath, not the false oath. A Muslim, he can even lie to his wife. And a wife, she can lie to her husband. Not only lying to non-Muslims, you can lie three cases between people. <clears throat> Let us see. And the funny Muhammad is saying that lying is bad, but he is the one who is teaching Muslims that you can lie. Let us see where is the hadith. <clears throat> and I want you to think carefully about what we will show you in the screen right now. And try to find out how this is can be from God and how this is this man can be a prophet. Read carefully, and this is Muslim translation, not my translation. You know, I have nothing to do with it. This is what Muslims uh, says. All right. Let us see. Let us see the one in the top. <clears throat> Starting from here. Look at this teaching. If a man, he asks his wife to come to his bed, Allah and the angels will curse her. Muhammad, he is subjugating women to be a sex slave. And if she refused to come to the bed, but remember the Muslim men have four wives. But if the Muslim man refused to come to the wife bed, nobody will curse him. Here you will see another ethical problem. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Where is the hadith? Let's see. All right. Look like we cannot find the hadith directly in the small one. Uh, there is a small one. Here we go. Yeah, this one is fine. And this is, uh, as you know, Sahih, as you see. So a Muslim cannot say this is not true. Uh, the Messenger of Allah is against lying. Unless I don't count as liar a man who puts things right between people. Mm. So my friend, we have two guys who they are, they don't like each other. Let's say there's something wrong. And now what we do, we go to the first one, we lie to him. And we go to the second one, we lie to him in order to fix the problem between them. Now, is that ethical? In which book? In which religion? But remember, sooner or later, those two guys, they will find that I did lie about what I said to them. And then the hate will be increased, and now the hate will involve me. So we will be, instead of being two people hating each other, we will be three. How you can fix problems by lying? How we can fix problems by lying? Lying to your enemies, according to Islam, by the way, here they say to you in the case of war, right? But according to Islam, anyone is not a Muslim, he is in war with Allah. War in Islam is not you carrying a sword when I kill Muslims. No, war in Islam that there is a Muslim and there is non-Muslims. Those who they are not Muslims, Allah He wage war in them, and we can show you tons of reference, so people will not say we are making things up. Muhammad been given order to fight all mankind until they convert to Islam, as you see. So it's not you waging war. On Islam as Muslim they try to explain to you they says to you oh well don't you think Islam uh, teach like that don't you have the right to defend yourself this is not what Islam teaching Islam teach that we have the right to kill and enslave everyone who don't believe in Islam I have been commanded 
to fight those who don't believe in Allah until they say the Shahada and not only that they have to pay the money to Muhammad and not only that they have to eat as he eat and not only that they have to pray as he pray and not only that they have to uh, to recite as a recite and then and only then he will not shed their blood do you see it this is this is Muhammad words it's not my words and this Muslim translation and this is Muslim website Muhammad he made it more clear that Muslims are the best of mankind Muhammad is a fascist person like 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 Hitler so what he's he claimed that a Muslim have a duty and his duty is to bring non-muslims and put a chain around their necks this is Sahih al-Bukhari this is very very authentic according to Muslims so Islam not only the God of Islam not only is a fool he teach fiction in the Quran and we go there so uh, later uh, the ethic of the Quran is bad it's horrible and it's a fascist cult this is what fascism is fascism is to believe that you are superior higher than other race or a group who don't belong to you and you have the right to treat them like dogs you know what do you mean you want to put a chain in my neck what do you mean you want to put a leech in my neck what does that mean it have one meaning that Islam is a fascist cult teaching fascism Nazi and even Hitler is better than, than Muhammad Muhammad and Hitler they share many things actually Hitler want to kill all the Jews and he want to kill all his enemies Muhammad want to do the same Muhammad he said Time will come and the Muslim will kill all the Jews all the Jews genocide the earth will be zero Jews and if a rock if a Jew hide behind a tree or a rock the tree and the rock they will scream saying hey hey Abdul Muhammad there is a hey uh, Hassan Nasrallah hey uh, the Mullah of Iran hey uh, to Osama bin Laden there is a Jew behind me come and kill him A Muslim he says in the text yes that he he says he agree that uh, Allah is speaking about the Zionist a Jew you know my friend that's because you're ignorant do you know what Zionist mean it's so clear that you do not know even what Zionist this is the other side of the dump cult of Islam because if you know what Zionist you are saying that you want to kill the Zionist right do you know what Zionist mean you don't know you think Zionism is like an organization created last year this is not Zionist <laughs> this is the other side of Islam Muhammad he taught his followers to copy paste and he himself do not know as an example Muhammad he took a lot of things from the Jews do you know what Yahudi mean look you look Muhammad here says in Arabic it says Yahudi do you know what Yahudi mean? you do not know what Yahudi mean you do not know okay what is what Jibreel mean you do not know what Allah mean you do not know what Mikael mean you do not know what Abraham mean you do not know what Moses mean you do not know because another side of Islam that Islam is a theft Islam is not a real belief Islam is nothing but a collection of theft of stories and beliefs of others <clears throat> now as long as Muslim in the chat he agree that Islam teach to kill the Jews and he says that Zionist but as you remember if you mean the Zionist those who made their organizations called Zionism this is something happened last year you know what I mean a few, a few years ago uh, but Muhammad here says a Yahud the Jews he did not say Zionist so are you saying your prophet is an idiot you do not know what Zionist is why he's saying the Jews this is another side how Muslims they try to cover up to the hateful teaching of Islam. What kind of a prophet is saying that you should kill all the Jews? Why? They are not created by God. They are not human like us. Because they refuse Muhammad.
somebody saying Israel is terrorist hmm. okay let us show let me let, you see I just I want to show you the the logic of the Muhammadan well as long as Israel is terrorist so how come Allah is the one who created Israel just to show you how those Muslims did not know what they are talking about you know the second you say you are a Muslim it means you are ignorant literally and I will show you is it Allah who created the state of Israel This is your Quran Abdul chapter 5 you can read it from verse number 20 21 23 etc Allah he told Musa take your people and attack the land which is the Israel the land of Israel now and take it enter the holy land which Allah has assigned into you do you see it do you see it so your God Allah is the one who assigned Israel to the Jews. Why Orthodox Jews against the state of Israel? This is a religious opinion. They, they are not against the existence of this the, of the Jews there. They are existed, uh, they, you know, but this is not all Orthodox Jews. There are some idiots. Because if you read the Old Testament, you will see there's many prophecies about the Jews will be gathered again in Jerusalem. So those who call themselves Orthodox Jews, they are Orthodox idiot because they are going against their book. But not all Orthodox Jews, they believe in that. There is a few, you know, a little a tiny minority. But look now, the Muslim, they are not answering why Allah established the state of Israel. You see, look at the Muslims in the chat. They are mute now. As long as you are against Israel, but this is how Islam is. Islam is a is a hypocrite cult. Muhammad at that stage he was trying to say to the Jews, "I am I believe in the Musas. I'm I'm a Jew." Muhammad trying to make it clear that he is a Jew. He want to be a Jew. But the, the the Jews did not accept him. So in this stage, Muhammad the hypocrite is talking. In the whole Quran, the word Palestine never mentioned. Any Muslim can tell me why? Allah never heard of it. In fact, according to the Quran here, Allah is asking the Jews to attack those who live in Palestine and kill them. Not only that, because the Jews, they refused to kill those Palestinian. Allah, he punished them and he made them lose their way for 40 years. Only two Jews agree, and those are the, fear, the, the two Jews who fear Allah, agree to attack the Palestinians. Read carefully. But among them, hmm, the Jews refuse. They said to Moses, says, oh, this is the land of the people of exp uh, 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 like exceeding strength. Never, by the way, ex exceeding strength here is, is not a correct translation. It's a Jabbarin. A Jabbarin is about people who they are giant used to live there. Now, if you don't believe me that those Palestinians who they call them Palestinian today are not Palestinian, Go and check the height of Yasser, Yasser Arafat. I mean, do you do you, he look like a giant? He's not even 140 centimeter height. He always wear high heels like women in order to make himself look taller. So those are who live there, according to the Quran, is not even the Palestinian, obviously. They are called Jabbarin, the giants. We will never enter there because they are people of uh, they are giant, they are they have a very they are strong. We cannot fight them. Never shall we enter it until they leave. So the Jews, they say, okay, why Allah don't make it uh, empty for us? He, he do it. He do it for us. But among them, uh, they're Allah-fearing men, only two men. Two of them, they want to do jihad. See, jihad is, uh, is a long time ago, not only from Muhammad, supposedly. From all the nation of the Jews, only two, uh, two Jews, they want to do jihad. They want to join ISIS. They said, assault them in the proper gate. Okay, only two Jews and Muhammad here, the God of Islam, praising them. He says, Those are two fearing men, they fear Allah. Then they said, Okay, Musa, we will not go, we will remain here. You and your God go enter it. Hmm? You and your God go enter it and fight with those two men and you and your God. And then Allah, 
he get angry from the Jews. So he said to them, therefore, the land will be out of their reach for 40 years. Do you see it, Muslims? So as you see, only uh, the only educated one, or and, and they have honesty, they will say what well, the one who established the state of Israel is Allah. It's in the Quran. Allah never mentioned the word Palestine, not even a single time in the Quran, and not we cannot even find it in the Hadith. So as you see here, Islam does not have a logic, does not have an ethic, and we need to mention Allah the fool. You know, you know, not only Allah who teach a man. I mean, I mean, if you if you go in the hadith here, the one we mentioned to you about a man lying to his wife. Anyone like to have a wife like this? Anyone who would like to have a man like that? What kind of what kind of a family Islam established? Look at this. Muhammad does not count lying in three cases. Uh, Muslim lying to non-Muslims. This is what they saw it called war. And I showed you that war in Islam is about you not accepting Islam. So you are in war with Islam. And then a man who is saying something to his wife, you are free to lie as much as you want. A Muslim woman, she cannot trust a single word her husband he say. She cannot. And then or a wife saying something to her husband, you cannot, if you if you marry a Muslim woman, you cannot trust a single word a Muslim woman saying. What do you think? Any Muslim? Anyone? Let us see. Um, I'm trying to find there's many texts people they send me in sky but none of them is Muslims really. I recently watched Ishmael video and who is Ishmael anyway I was working <laughs> I'm a Shia Muslim and would uh, wish to show evidence against Jesus being God. Okay, this is a Muslim guy from Doha, where he is. Uh, he, his, his name is uh, Jihad and sword is the way to Allah. This guy he want to call me to prove to me that Jesus is not God. In Arabic it says, sword and jihad, uh, uh, the way to, uh, to, to the family of Muhammad, he is being truthful. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I told him, sure, call me. Let us see another Muslim. We have this guy here. He called me many times, but looked like I was offline. 
Where does see. <coughs> Let us see. It will look like we are out of all text. That's it. Yeah, let us see here. Uh, we'll, uh, uh, yeah, look like we are out. Uh, we are out of text in Facebook. I mean, in, uh, in Skype. We are waiting. So anyway, this is God teaching. The family is broken. The Islamic family is broken. A man lied to his wife. The wife lied to her husband. There's no honesty. You can lie as you wish. Two person who they have, they are married, living in a house together. They are in competition now. Who want to lie more? Remember, the Quran says a man he can beat wife if she is rebellion, but he cannot beat his wife if she is lying. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? For sure, beating is very stupid because that will cause another problem to the marriage. And here again, you will see that logic of the God of Islam is a stupid logic because what kind of God he think he can fix a problem between a wife and husband, making the wife obeying the husband by beating the wife? That will not. And you see here the Muslim in their translation, they add first and second and last. And there he says, beat them and they put the between two bracket lightly. Beat them lightly. Mm. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? I would like to beat you lightly. What lightly? Where is the word lightly coming from? And what lightly mean? They put it between two bracket to tell you it's not there. We are lying. Are you saying beat them until you don't like don't break their bones as Muhammad said? He said Muhammad he says don't beat your wife as you beat your slave until you break their bones Which means Muslim they used to beat their slaves until they break their bones So the ethic of the family is broken the ethic of God is broken the ethic of the prophet is broken Muhammad himself he cheated in his wives Muhammad himself he found having sex with the slaves in the bed of his wife and his wife she says fi bayti wa ala sariri ya Muhammad in my house in my bed Muhammad Muhammad he stole his own son wife he went to her house and we made many videos about it and you can go and hear the Muslim debating me and actually there is the last one we have a Muslim who called me to prove me wrong he left Islam after we did read the story together and other reference so what kind of religion we are talking about now we did not go to speak about the foolishness of Allah but this is foolishness because you, you know you are a fool if you think you can have a fixed marriage by beating your wife how many of you here agree that beating the wife will make your marriage better be honest how many of you believe that if you beat your wife if you are a savage person who beat his wife will make your marriage better I mean this is stupid that is additional proof that Allah cannot be God because not only this is a stupid this is dangerous violence will bring violence what if your wife should decide to seek revenge she's a human she have a feeling even animals can can have revenge from you if you beat your dog, he can kill you. A dog in America have more rights than a Muslim woman in Islam. In America, if you beat a dog, you go to jail. If you don't believe me, go check Prophet Google, peace upon him. So, the Islamic ethic and the Islamic solution of a family, allowing the man to lie to his wife, the wife lying to her husband, and then we can beat the wife. But the woman, she cannot be the husband. No, you cannot. Only the man he can. Why? Because he spends some pennies on you, as if you are a hooker, as if you are a prostitute. 
Why the man he is in charge? Because, read carefully, not my word, because they spend of their property to support women. So the second the man he supports you by few pennies, he feed you, you are owned by him. So good women is obedient, God in the secret of Allah. As for those who you fear, she did not even do anything. You fear, like you suspect that she is not happy with you. You scream at her, stupid, you know, all, you, all the bad words. And then you jail them in their beds and then scourge them. And then if they obey you, don't beat them no more. How this is can be God. So what we learn now from two teaching of Muhammad, the Quran and the Hadith, that lying and beating women will make a perfect family. I mean, who is the fool when to believe in such a thing? Imagine you are what they call them in the USA, a shrink, like you know, a person who seeks help, advice, mental, you know, advice family you know consolation so you are the, a person doing a family consolation between a, a wife and a husband and then you tell the husband beat your wife you will lose your license immediately and you might go to jail for such an advice because this is the most stupid advice ever how this is can be from god and how this is can be from a prophet And again, if we if we turn Twitter on, you will see how many posts the Muslim they post every second trying to promote Islam for us. Look at this. This guy he keeps repeating about the salty water and the fresh water, and we prove to you that this is a big fat lie. The Quran, you know, let us go there because this guy he keep repeating the same lie about the salty water and fresh water. Look at this. Actually, this verse in the Quran proving Allah is ignorant. Uh, <clears throat> here we go. This is appear in the Quran twice. Chapter 25, verse 53. Chapter 55, verse number 20. We go to 25, 53. The Muslim, they make, uh, if you go and see, uh, if you search Google and YouTube, you will see tons of articles about the two waters are not mixing. Actually, here there's a website. Let me see if I can find it here. As you see, Miracles of the Quran, which is nothing but a lie. Uh, let us see where we can find this water thing. Where is the water lie? Maybe in the internal waves, I'm not sure. Um, look, how, look how many, I suppose this is all in the Quran. Even flight, even spaceship, I mean, you name it. Shorelines, look, look at this, look, look. Fresh water, mountain have a frozen fresh water. We will go, we will go back here. Let me let me search that will make it faster because this is in list. Research Prophet Google. <clears throat> Okay, we type in Google salty water and fresh water don't mix and then we will find Here we go Look at this all those videos all those videos made by Muslims fresh and salt water uh, Between them a barrier Quranic verse you can watch it and you can you, you will see how, how how big fat the lie they are trying to present to us Two, two oceans that meet but they do not mix look at the translation did you see what it says that they meet but they don't mix but the Quran saying the opposite the Quran saying 
they never really meet because between them there's a barzakh if we find if we go and click at any of those websites about Islam a barrier between two Islam between between two seas hmm. a barrier between seas discover agree with the Quran okay what is that hmm. he has set the free uh, the free the two bodies of a flowing water meeting together between them a barrier which does not do not transgress expression of the verse blah 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 you can read it you can you know you can uh, search the article and you can read it we were investigating of some researchers uh, uh, judgment that put both put forth that there were some barrier that separated the different masses of the sea from each other okay as a result of a various studies we saw the Mediterranean Sea has a, a, a peculiar natural level of uh, so this is about two seas but hold on the Quran says my friend fresh sea and, and, and salty sea not two seas as salty both of them they are salty same time it says they never transgress they never mix and there is a barrier and then look what they say here the same kind of uh, water barrier was founded by German scientist always Ger German American is the one who find things for Islam where uh, waters uh, of Gulf uh, of Aden a Red Sea coverage in, in 1962 in our late in, uh, in our later investigation we in uh, witness the existence of the same kind of barrier in uh, the merging point of the seas that have different categories for the water but this is not what the Quran is talking about the Quran is saying there is a fresh water let us go back to the verse there is a fresh water you see here in the in the verse they did not add the verse as it is look he has let free the two bodies of the following flowing water meeting together between them there is a barrier where is the fresh there is a fresh and salty they took it off to make it look like this is a science they took the water fresh and salty off if we go in the Quran remember this is a chapter 55 verse number 90 and why they did it not and then in the article later they they mentioned this because they wanted to show you the, the, the right away from the beginning it is he who has let it free the two bodies flow in water one is plentiful and sweet and the other one is salt and bitter yet he has made a barrier between them a partition that forbidden to be passed now do the science says they don't mix and look what it says here yes the fact the seas that the seas do not mix up with each other and the fresh water river do not mix up with the salty water show the infinity power of Allah who is the stupid in the world when they believe that salty water and fresh water they don't mix and here they show you a picture about salty water and fresh water supposedly that is the most stupid statement ever when there is a river coming in the sea because we have a current of water so always you will find the fresh water there but this water here in the side is mixing every second if you don't believe me take some salty water and put it in a container have a fresh water and i challenge you to find me where the salty water and the fresh water are located you will see all the water will become salty It's not the fresh water will be in one side and the salty water will be in the other side. So here they, you know, they fabricate things for you. While the Quran is saying the opposite, the Quran is saying they never mix, actually, and they agree. They agree in the article saying they never mix. That's a big fat lie. There's no sense in the world says they never mix. Not a single one. Why they don't mix? One is oil and one is water. Both are water. They will mix immediately. Not a single scientist says they don't mix. What the Quran is saying, proving to us that Allah is a false God. Why? He is claiming that there is two bodies of water. One is salty and one <clears throat> is 
uh, fresh and they never mix up ever what does that mean we showed you many times if we go in the Quran interpretation you will see that the word barzakh it is a barzakh which is a piece of land separate between them if we go to Ibn Kathir just to show you an example about how they lie and because you don't speak Arabic so you have to take whatever they say I mean you don't speak Arabic how you will know right how you will know you have to do some search you know don't you cannot take what they say to you for granted and don't take what I say to you for granted too I have to show it to you in front of you on the screen otherwise maybe I'm lying to all right and he said and that salty salty and like this is the verse meaning that salty it is salty and bitter and not easy to swallow this is like uh, seas that are known in the in the east and the west Atlantic Ocean and uh, etc but as you know remember the Quran says that two seas one is a fresh and one one is salty and this is Ibn Kathir who came more than 800 years after Muhammad saying well there is no so uh, fresh water sea where we can find that sea so uh, the Prophet obviously he meant something else and here he's counting for you the seas the Red Sea the Arabian Seas the Persian Gulf the China Sea the Indian Ocean the Mediterranean Sea the Black Sea but all of them those are not fresh not even single one of them is fresh so what what is what is the one which is a fresh go down you will see the answer and he has set a barrier complete partition between them meaning between the sweet water and the salty water here the word barzakhan this is from the Quran it means a barrier partition which is a dry land so do you see how they lie to us the Quran using the word barzakhan which is a dry land the Muslim they claim that this is about two water meeting together but they don't mix Do you see it? Did we prove, prove actually, you know, I can prove it in two seconds by going here just, you know, but I, I, I wanted to explain to you that this is a mistake. The God of Islam think that the salty water is a sea and the fresh water is a sea and Allah, he separate between them. So never, 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 ever mix. But all of us, we knew that the fresh water is coming from the sea anyway. And he is saying there is a barrier between them so they cannot transgress so muhammad is praising allah for having a fresh water always and he don't allow it to mix with the sea but this is a stupid mistake do you see it he made a complete partition means a barrier to prevent one of them from reaching the other they cannot reach it's not about they don't mix they cannot reach totally they cannot even touch each other but in the videos they make it totally different and then he quote for us a chapter 55 verse number 19 and 20 the one they quote for us in the article remember this is the same verse they quote for us the article he has let those the two seas meeting together between them so they are not meeting really between them there's a barrier okay what is the barrier it's a dry land which none of them can transgress Do you see how they fabricate for you stories? Do you see it, my friend? They knew that many of you will be uh, like, will be impressed if we make Islam look like a religion of science. And here there's a mistake. What they are trying to make at science for us, it's an error. Because the God of Islam believed that the salty water and fresh water never mix. But the fact, all the fresh water we have is a salty water originally. Not only that, as long as we are talking about water and etc. Do you know where where uh, where ice is coming from? Where is the ice coming from? According to the God of Islam, ice is coming from mountains in heaven. Allah He break it and He th throw it at us. 
chapter 24 verse number 43 any Muslim want to tell me how Allah he got this conclusion you see Allah is God right okay Allah the God he think that there is mountains of ice where hail when I say ice I mean hail here actually the word in, in, uh, uh, specifically hail not ice only hail and Allah he break from those mountains hail and he throw it at us okay this is God is that God Muslims is that your God saying that Allah he break hail from mountains in heaven and he throw it at us to punish the one who don't like We have an ex-Muslim who left Islam here live on air. He want to call me to ask questions about the Bible, but we will ask him just for... We will let him call us after we finish the topic. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? So let us say, let us say, you know, for the sake of argument that all the videos Muslims they make about science and the Quran is true which is absolutely false how Allah he says that and he, by the way if the Muslim try to say oh Christian Prince is lying to you doesn't doesn't mean that you know it's in front of you even this is the Muslim translation but we can go to the Quran interpretation by their scholars how the Muslim understood the Quran for the last 1400 years this is a chapter 24 verse number 43 and this is the Abdul Ibn Kathir here we go not my interpretation I have nothing to do with it whatever he say we will see okay okay oh hold on <clears throat> 43 sorry it's not uh, 20 53 okay it is 43 see what happened when you get older all right let us see what Allah meant according to Islamic scholars not uh, a potato tomato from Indonesia who do not know how to say the name of his prophet correctly my name is Ustaz Alhamdulillah Waduni what what do you what do you they go to those poor Indonesian they say assalamu alaikum alhamdulillah and they repeat the Quran because they recite it uh, you know memorize it they don't know they don't speak Arabic most of them and even the one who speak Arabic is Arabic broken more than my English way more he sent down from the sky look they keep the word men men which we from the sky from mountains in it where is ice uh, and then this says means that there are mountain of hills in the sky from which Allah he sent down ice so now now we know now we know where ice is coming from <laughs> you see Allah is God otherwise how Allah he knew this you tell me You tell me how Allah he knew this how Allah he knew that there's a flying ice mountains guys imagine if we discovered in the sky that the ice the hail we have which is coming from the sky is really coming from mountains Muslims will make a tons of videos about it millions of videos but nobody is talking about this one who is a Muslim want to make a video about Allah discovering where ice coming from Any Muslim? Anyone? Who is a Muslim agree with Allah statement? Not only this, even the thunder, 
which is something we see naturally from in the, in the storm time, which is electro electronic uh, uh, energy, according to the Quran. It says in chapter 13, verse number 13, a Muslim is asking me, can you read this? Your prophet, my friend, he cannot even read his name. So are you saying to me that I am ignorant like your prophet? Thank you. And yeah, I can read. What about you call me and we will read Arabic together? Can you do so? Do you dare? The one who's asking me, can you read this? Call me. Call me in Skype and we will laugh. Look at this. In chapter 13, verse number 13, the thunder is an angel. Where is where is the thunder? Here we go. <coughs> You see, they took they took the the Arabic part of it. Where is the? You see the liars. They took it off. Where it says that thunder is an angel, but don't worry, we will show it to you in different place. In a second. <clears throat> Where is the guy who wanna call me to speak Arabic? Call me, I'm waiting for you. And get ready. We will have a lot of fun. This uh, the King of King of Jordan website never work. It's always down. The same as his kingdom. Give me your ID. The guy who want to speak Arabic, I want to call you. Don't run. It's not opening. You see, I click at the website. Maybe we should come tomorrow. I'm trying to open this website. I put the address in the top. I keep clicking enter. Yeah, we have a Muslim. Let us see this guy. Hold on. This is a Shia guy. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. You are live on air. What do you want to say to us? Oh, okay. I have some uh, regarding some verses of the Bible that, unfortunately, I wasn't able to ask someone else. What about the topic we are speaking about? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what topic you're speaking about. The, the topic we are saying, three reasons Allah cannot be God. Allah. Mm. Okay, Allah is not God, yeah? Cannot be God. Cannot be God. Yeah. Can I clarify can I ask a clarification? Like when you say Allah, you mean Allah in Islam or Allah in general? What is Allah in Islam, Islam in general? Allah is the God of Islam. But isn't I'm saying it, when you say Allah is in the name, Allah. No, Allah is a name, my friend. To... Allah is a name. And Arab yes. Christian, they use the word Allah because they are forced to use it after fourteen hundred years. Of occupation, we don't believe in Allah. Allah is a pagan God. He is the moon God. So, if I read in the Arabic Bible where it says, Khalaf "This is Allah a false translation," this is what I say. This is a false translation. This is a translation. There is no. Why don't you translate it as Ila? Why don't you put Ila or Rab? Uh, no problem. I'm saying. I just said to you, this is false translation. Okay, I'm. I'm just saying that's what I've read in the Arabic Bible. Okay, let me let me show you what I read now in the Quran. It says the word Jesus. Can you find the word Jesus in the original Quran? Jesus. Now you want the word Yeshua. No, no, I'm asking you, can you find the, the name of Jesus? Yes, Yeshua or Yeshua or even Jesus. Can we find it in the Quran? No, right? 
if you if you're using those names then no okay we so that's find mean, those names. so that's, that's me in the quran when the name jesus appeared that's me in the quran is giving false translation do you agree I do not believe that. I believe that the Isis is a name of Jesus as well. Okay, I'm no, not denying that. No yes, problem, but uh, is, is that a correct is that a correct translation to say Jesus when the Quran never says Jesus? If it says Isa, which is in reference to Jesus, hmm? because Allah doesn't just How you know that this Isa is reference to Quran Jesus? How you know that this is reference to Jesus? Hold on, hold on. In the Quran, Allah hmm. uses three different things to refer to Jesus. He doesn't just call him Aisa. He says Aisa ibn Maryam. So it clarifies that he is the son of Mary, hmm. number one. Hmm. Number two, it calls him Al-Masih. So hmm. we're not confused. It clearly says Al-Masih. Hmm. And last time I checked, Christians only believe Jesus is This is not is the, the question, Messiah. my friend. This is not the question. The question is, why Allah did not call Jesus by his correct name? Well, why? But you're the one saying it's incorrect. Well, nobody heard of his name before. You know, we are the Christian, we believe in Jesus, and we have our Bible. We never heard of Isa. Who is Isa? Can you tell me who is Isa? We never heard of Isa. So you're, you're saying that from? Isa cannot you, be a name of Jesus. Do you yeah? have do you have an uh, like a pre name for this like any any history reporting the name Isa before? Any book before Muhammad? But I'm saying, did yeah? you hear what I said before? I said Allah in the Quran, he does not only mention the name Isa to refer to Jesus. No problem, he no says, problem. Do you, do you know where the name is coming from? What Isa mean? Can you tell me what Isa mean? What does the, the, the meaning of the name? Yeah. I would assume that the meaning comes from the original Aramaic, which the name derives from. What is name what? I said I would refer uh -huh. to the meaning in Aramaic in which the actual name derives from. Okay, but what the meaning of the name? Isa? Yeah. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure. What Allah, uh, what Allah mean? The meaning in Aramaic. Okay. What Allah mean? Don't tell me you do not know what the name of Allah mean. What Allah mean? Allah hmm? is a contraction hmm. between El and Ila, meaning the God. No. Okay. You see, you are you are a, you speak Arabic, right? Which will make it a lot easier for me. Uh, I do not Arabic. I do not know Arabic. So why well, you are typing, why you are typing your name in Arabic in the top of your Skype? Uh, because I I. I mean, because I can understand what I wrote. I mean, is there is something wrong with putting somebody's name in How Arabic? How you can understand what you wrote if you do not know Arabic? I said I don't know Arabic in depth. I said I know basic Arabic. I know. So here we go. You see, you type your name in Arabic, but you do not know Arabic. Does it say here in front of me? Look at this. Chapter 1, verse number 2. It says, Alhamdulillah. Do you agree okay. with this? Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Okay. Li, what li mean? Two. Two. And la. Allah. Thank you. So, guys, Allah, his name is, and here we go, Mr. Uh, I don't know what to call you. What's your name? Amir. Amir. Mr. Amir, he agree that this is uh, Alhamdulillah. This is, which means thanks to Allah. Li, he said, and I'm just quoting what he said. I will type it in the screen. Li. And then the name is Lah. Everybody heard you. So your name, God, is Allah. It's not Allah. And it's not Al-Ilah. And everybody heard you. Li lah. So li -la. no, li lah. You know, li li. This li, 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 When you say lil, you are repeating the same letter twice. Lil. You see it. There's two letters. Li lah. So we say it fast. We say li lah. But the fact is li. And you said li mean two. Everybody heard. Okay. You. How do you, how do you say li lah? How do you spell that? My Arabic? friend, you just did. Here we go. Li. How do you spell it in Arabic? Did, didn't you what agree? Li in My Arabic? friend, did you, didn't you agree? Didn't you agree and say this is mean to Allah? Okay, but here where is Allah? Where is the word Al? Lilla, Lilla. There's not. It, it, it will be grammatically incorrect if you put an Al there. My, uh, ah, will be grammar. What, what do you mean? You, you cannot take a name. You cannot take a letter out of the name, my friend. If the name is Allah, the name is stay Allah. So when people take out the Alif, they say, like for instance, the actual. I'm sure you've read it. It says Alhamdulillah, ya Rabbil Alameen. My yeah? friend, didn't you say? Li mean two, and then the word two. after it. And I'll give you. Is, I'll give an example. My friend, in the Quran, no, no problem, no when problem. Allah but says, aren't you the oh, one who said oh, oh, that oh, Li oh. mean two, and the word after it is the name of your God? And you said to me, Allah, right away. Allah, yeah, it's Allah. Okay, so Li La, the your God name is La. Hold on. Okay, let me mention this. Hmm. Li adding Li to it, by the way, hmm. is just part of his name because uh, there's a lamb in it. Hmm. But let's, I'll give you an example. When Allah says, Muhammad Rahmatul Alameen, yeah? When he says, Rahmatul Lil Alameen, Lil, what is Lil Alameen here? Two. To the worlds, yeah? Uh. 
Hmm. Are you gonna Are you gonna say that Lil Alamin doesn't My mean friend, to the, the world? Alamin is not a name. What's wrong with you? You cannot take. It's a word. It's a word. That it's a word, but it's Alif not Alamin a name. Say. You cannot take an, uh, the word out. You cannot take out of the name. As an example, you say Al Masih. The name is Masih. Al is definition. Who is he? So Al Masih. So here, in order to take the letter off, you cannot take a letter off from the name. The name stay as it is. You can take letters off if they are additional anyway. So if we attach them to something else, then we take it off. So, and you are the one who said to me, I said to you, Lil, uh, who is, who, what Lee, Lee mean? And you said to, the other one is Allah. the name of your God. Okay, now, listen, Alhamdulillah, and you said that Allah is a word divert. So what is the name of your God? Allah, which okay, is what, one name. What that Allah, name means? One of his names. What that name mean? Allah, I just told you what it meant. What? The God. The God? So the Allah is, a, is, a, is just a word mean God? It, I it's mean, a it's name? a name. It's a title. Is it a name or it's just a word mean God? It's a title. It's an attribute. It's a name. No, no. Is it a name or it is just a word can be used? So uh, can we call Buddha or the God of the Hindu, the Hindus? Can we call them uh, their God is Allah? If they believe that that is the divine God, then I don't have a problem with somebody using Allah as long as they say Allah mm. in the context of using it with just their God. And I can show you in the Bible, Elohim is not just used for your God in the Bible, it's used for pagan gods. Elohim, Elohim is not a, is not the name. That is the name. No, it's no, not. Show me, show me, show me another name. It says Elohim and Adonai. My friend, the whole Bible does not have a, Bible, no, 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 this is, don't teach me my, my belief. You see, when you say something, you, you know, you, you're obviously, you do not know what you're talking about. Okay, so then what is the, the name of God? What is the name of God in the Bible? What I am. He said to them, I am. When he said Yahweh, that's saying, I am. Yeah, saying, so I, what is Allah? I am. Hold on, hold on. What does God say in the first verse of the Bible? In, uh, in Hebrew, what does he say? What is his name? There's no name. So what is God in Arabic? Sorry, what is God in Hebrew? There's many words. There's Shaddadi, there's Hashem. I'm saying, what is, what is God himself use? I'm not asking what somebody else uses. I am. I'm, I'm I asking am. God. Moses, Moses asked God, who are you? What I will say to my people. He said to them, I am. And it's what not, did God say in the first verse of the Bible? My can friend, please, I told you, there's no name. You can read the first verse in the Bible. There's no name. What does it say in Hebrew? What is, what is no the name. word used Show for me God? Name. Don't tell me what's what in the Hebrew. What is the word used for you God? You tell me. Hold you on, tell I'm me. Asking, you tell me. No, you tell me. You tell me what it says there. Go ahead. I'm asking you what it says. What is the I'm name? Learning from you. No, you tell me. No, you word. No, you, no, you tell me. No, you tell me. What is the first uh, the word uh, that God uses let, in let, the first let, verse let, of let Genesis? Me ask, let me ask you first. Be, before, we, before we continue, do you do you agree with Genesis, the book of Genesis? Do I agree? Why do I have to agree with it to use no. it against you? Okay, I'm not no, no. Leave your book to use it against you. Okay, I'm just asking you when you ask me, what is the name of the God of heaven? Are you a person who did read the book? Who is the name of the God of heaven? I told you Allah. There's has no one name. Point. It's a word mean God. There's no name there. In so the said, beginning, hold on, you just hold on, the, hold on. my friend. Just said, in the word, beginning, yeah? God He created the, word, the yeah? heaven and the earth. This is why in the translation it's appear as God. We don't want to stay you here for said, hours. My friend, my friend, my friend. Listen, 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 listen. Can I ask you a question? No, 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 no. Listen, listen, said, listen, listen. When you debate you somebody, are, you when you debate said? somebody, you need to get him busted. I said this word there mean God. Prove me wrong. What? The I'm I'm asking you a question. I said. You just admitted, did you just admit that the word used for God in the first verse is Elohim? Yes, is that correct? My friend, it's a word being God. Doesn't matter what word. it is. It's a word, yes. So what's the name <laughs> yes, of God? Yes, it's a word. It's not a it's not a name. I just told you what's so wrong. What's the with name you? of God? What's the it name is of God? Not a, not it is not the name. name. Is I am. Are you are you he stubborn said, for call me I am? Okay, okay never listen, said my listen. Name is are I you am. how old are you? How old are you? 18, almost okay, like no problem. Listen, you are a person saying to me. Uh, let us say they use whatever word there, but as long it's not a name. So what's your problem? I'm asking you, what's God's name then? And you cannot say it's I, I said am. To you, said my like name I said is to I you am. in the whole Bible, God did not say he have a name. God, he says, I am who I am. So this when you invoke Jesus, God, what do you call Jesus, when what do you call God? Jesus, each time he say, I am, he is saying, I am God. He only said it one, by the way. He never said it more than once. Where? But uh, the verse in which he says, before Abraham was, I am. Yeah. No. How come he didn't say before no, Adam he said, was? I am the truth. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the beginning. Hold on, hold on. I am the gate. So what are you you're talking about? Green. Let's go back to. Let's go to the Gospels. No, 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 no. You are trying to change the topic. Hold on, hold. We will go. We, we will go to the Bible. Now let us go focus here. So what is the meaning of your God name? Are, you know, if I show you right now from your Islamic website, it's saying that Allah is a unique name for Allah as the only God. Unique name. 
are you going to agree with your Muslim scholars or you will refuse? Which scholars? Which scholars? Which sects? Mm -hmm. Shia. Are Shia. You Shia. I am a Shia, yes. Okay. Who, uh, give me the names of your scholars, please. The names of my scholars? Mm -hmm. If you can find me, this is the marja that I follow. Mm -hmm. Al-Sayyid Sadiq al husseini al shia Razi, Hafidhullah. If you can find what he says about the name of Allah in one of his books, I don't know. I haven't read a whole lot of his books. I've only read a few of them. Get his opinion, and then I, I'd be I'd be glad to uh, to then answer. So only from a Shirazi, this is your scholar. He is my marja. He's not what he's not just one scholar I rely on, but he is the main scholar I rely on. Hmm. All right. Hopefully, uh, out of respect for me, please do not quote from Sunni books. That's the only thing I ask. So unfortunately, people, they just quote from any book, and unfortunately, it's a Sunni book. But okay. good thing you're sticking to the Quran. I can respect that. All right. Well, here we go. Uh, I'm just going to show you a Shia website. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I wanted to address certain things about what God in the Bible does or is said about him. I don't want to say he does it in actuality. And see whether or not you can, you know, whether or not you have a problem with this. Whether my, friend, you... my friend, my friend, my friend. Let us not to mix things together. All right. So you want to uh, talk about uh, you want to talk about the Quran, but you don't want to talk about the Bible. Which you no, can... no, we are talking about the Bible anyway, because you see, you, you know, obviously you do not know much about your religion. Isn't it Allah is the one who sent the Bible? I said that Christians use the name. What? I said Christians use the name. I said, why couldn't they use that? They is don't a like the name of Allah. That is a false you translation. You don't like the name. That, use okay. uh, listen, listen. Anything. When you print your Bibles, who's forcing you to put Allah? Nobody. Nobody's putting your hand. No, in I will Bible. tell you. Who's I will tell Allah? you who is forcing them. You see, I can tell you who is forcing them. The Muslim one, they want. They say to them, you can use it. The Muslim one, you say, you cannot use it because they are the one in control. And I will show you an example. Muslim, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. I live where? Do you live in an Islamic state where they force you to do that? No, this is why I say. Oh, no, so you can change your Bible. This is why. This is why I did. I did. I did. I go to the original. I say Islam. Allah, Allah is a false god. Well. How many times no. I just said to you, Allah is a false name? Then tell your Christians. You didn't, I, I just to told them the Christians are listening. I told them this is a false translation. What's wrong with you? Is it, this is the first thing I said to you? But I'm telling you, <laughs> if you don't like the name, my friend, there's a video. Here we go. This is your this is your scholar. I will give you the link. You can watch it and you can laugh at what you said to me that Allah is not a name. This is your... I did not say it's not a name. I said it could be a name. No, it it's not about could be. It's a name. It's a name. It's a name. It's a positive. But you I mean, Muslim do not you know what the name mean. You do not know what the name mean. What, what kind does, of what kind of religion? On, okay, let me phrase? ask you. Let me ask you. You are you as a Muslim Shia, right? Okay, I don't follow the scholar. The scholar that you're showing he's he's a he's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar, and he follows Khamenei. I asked specifically from specifically. Uh, okay, I never heard of this Shirazi one. When does the Shirazi he die? Sayyid Sar, Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi. He's still alive. Okay, I mean, this is why he is not. I never heard of him because he's not a scholar. He's just a sheikh, like everybody. He's not a sheikh. Sadiq <laughs> Shirazi. He is a marja. They don't call him Ayatollah because he's just a random sheikh. They don't call him Sheikh Shirazi. They okay, call let him me ask you. Let, let me ask you. What Shirazi. is okay? You before a Shirazi. A Shirazi learn from which books? From the Shia, which, from the which, which, Ahadith. Who is who is this? Okay, who? What is book of a Hadith you accept? Uh, if you can find me a riwaya, a Hadith that is Sahih and does not contradict the Quran. No, don't tell me a riwaya, Hadith, Sahih. Here we go, Taqiyya of the Shia. Give me the names of the book you approve. What do you mean approve? Yes, I don't you approve choose a whole book. I'm not. A, I'm not a Sunni. We don't say most authentic book of the Quran. I know that. Okay, so you are saying that you Muslim Shia, your books are full of corruption too. I believe that there are weak hadith. Yeah, why? Why is that? Okay. Problem? So, are you saying to me Allah did not preserve the the hadith of your prophet and the and the, the hadith? Did you hear it yourself? The yeah. hadith. Yeah. Did Allah say He's going to preserve the Quran or the hadith? Show me in the Quran where He says He's going to preserve the hadith. Okay. Isn't it Allah? He says, "Obey the prophet and obey Allah." Obey. What does that mean? Does that mean trust every hadith? No. Mm -hmm. How you can obey Him if His His words is corrupt? So if I tell a lie about Jesus and a million other people believe it, that means that I ever my friend. The truth, how yeah? you can obey? How you can obey a man? You can. You are saying to me that there's many stories say that he said it. It's false. How you can obey him now? Okay. So I'm going to point this question back to you. And if you can answer this, then I'll be more than happy to answer. Go ahead. 
if you rely on the Bible, which was written by fallible, pay attention, fallible hmm. men who were given divine inspiration, how can you trust a book from fallible men? Hmm. Which were, is it Muhammad, I mean, no offense, it, but they were so you are not saying very to me, smart. Are you saying to me the Quran is not written by the hand of fallible men? Did you hear what I just said? I heard you. Are you saying that the Quran? Are you saying to me? Are you saying to me? Are you saying to me, okay, are you saying to me that the Quran written by the hand of God or the hand of men? Did you, I did not say matter of writing down. I said you. I'm asking you. No, the matter of writing down. The matter of writing down. The matter of writing down. Okay. Are you saying that Muhammad you. is Muhammad fallible or not? He is masoom. Masoom. Okay. Here we go, guys. Did he say masoom? What masoom mean? Explain to us. Infallible. And our concept is that okay. he's free from sin mm. and mistakes. So are you saying he is, guys, he is he is protected from sin and mistakes, right? And I'm can you answer my question before we even Okay, so how the Quran topic? says in this verse that Allah may Allah forgive you for your sin in the past and the one to come. If Muhammad he have no sin. I don't I <laughs> Praying yeah. for forgiveness of a sin or Allah saying to forgive you of your sin does not necessitate you had to commit a sin in My friend it says forgive thee the sin in the past in the past if you have no sin How you will forgive the sin in the past and the one to come in the future? So you're not going to answer my question. I'm answering you You say to me that the Bible is written by men and Fal they commit I, no, sin. No, 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 let me clarify. Mm. I said you believe that the Bible was written down and the revelation was given to fallible men. How can you trust fallible men with infallible This revelation? is your statement, my friend, not my statement. I'm repeating what you so said. So you believe that the, the men that recorded the Bible are infallible, yeah? You see, we, we believe that the men, they, oh, every man commits sin in the world, but God does so not. So fallible God, God, men, Jesus said, Jesus, Jesus said, my, Jesus, God, Jesus said hold on, let me answer you. Jesus said that the heaven and the earth will go and my word will not go. So he is the able only to, to protect the world, not the men. It's not the men who protect the world. It's and not who received the revelation? Jesus now, I'm asking men? you. I'm asking you. You said that the Quran given by a person who commit not sin, but the Quran saying that Muhammad commits sin in the past and in the future. Why you are lying about your prophet about your Quran? But you're not going to accept what I just asked you. No, you did not say anything. I I, said, I'm, I'm waiting for the answer. How do you Allah, believe when Allah He says God he forgave you? Are trying to, infallible you are trying to change. You have to prove to it that they are. You have man. to prove, my friend. You have to prove that they are bad people. Show me where it says that those say people that. are bad. Fallible. Fallible. What's fallible mean? My, my friend doesn't matter because this is an inspiration of God. Religion. What are you talking no, about? No, 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 no. Brother, listen, 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 listen. You see, you revelation is those, fallible men. Listen, listen, listen. So if, if this is the case, then the Quran is the same. You have fallible men. My friend, you, you have a fallible, fallible prophet. You have, you have a prophet who have sex with kids. You have a prophet you who kidnap his wife's daughter. My you have, you have a prophet. Kids? So can we, can we compare by can we compare between John and Muhammad? Okay, name for me a bad thing John he did. Now hold on, hold on. You said my prophet had sex with kids. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That, that's what you said. Yes. In I'm going to show you where Moses, God commands Moses and the, and the children of Israel. Remember, Moses is a prophet. Mm. A prophet mm. orders his own, orders his own followers to go have sex with kids. You want, to, you want me to show that from, show the, from the Bible? And everybody will love it. You're going to say it's not true. Go ahead. You're going to say it's not true, right? No, go ahead. We are waiting for you. All right. In the book of Numbers, mm. chapter 31. Mm. It'd be best in your, it'd be in your best interest to bring chapter 31. <clears throat> Read it. Now, of course, unfortunately, Moses was actually told he, he corrected the children of Israel. The children of Israel only killed the men. But of course, Moses corrected them and said, no, kill even the women. And he says, and Moses said unto them, have you saved all the women alive? Mm. Behold, these that called the children of Israel mm. through the counts of Abalam to commit trespass against the Lord mm. in the matter of pure. And there was a plague among the congregation of the Lord. Mm. Now, therefore, kill every male among the little ones and kill every woman that hath no man by line with him. But all the women children I didn't use this translation. This translation, which is the King James Version, says women, children that have not known a man. So sleep with them that you have not known by lying with them. Those, are, have those, sex are, with these women those are versions. Let me ask you, are you a, are you a child? Virgins. Are, wow. are you, are a are you yeah. now? You are 20, 21 years old. Are you a child of your mother? A child of my mother. Yes. This is not what it says. It says women, children. It's women, children. Mothers, yes, the women, the they, are, they, they are, they are their daughters. 
It's, did you read what I just said? You see, I don't want to discussion. Hold on. Okay, when you, you want to prove it to me, every you, are, you, are, you, are, you are giving interpretation as you wish. Can you show me one? Can you show me one Jewish? Hold on. You I see, show, I when, when I show when I show to the Muslims their stupidity, I show it to them from their books. Can you show so you me our stupidity from our books? Can you show me the interpretation for this verse? One one what interpretation. I agree with you. Can you show me one interpretation? I'm not going to repeat myself. You see, you are you are like a kid. Are you are you willing to show me? Are you show are you willing to show me one interpretation? I agree with you. Hold on. Do you want to bring me a scholar? That you accept. I'm not I'm not accepting them. All of you them. accept uh, all, all of them. Christianity all, all of them. The all of them. Of the all of them. Of Nobody says go have sex with the children. You are a liar. Really? Is that why Jews interpreted this? And that's why the this is how the Jews, Jews this is how the Christians, and this is what I'm wait, saying to you. Show me one is scholar, he agree with you, otherwise you're a liar. Jewish Jewish scholar. You don't like Jewish scholars, do you? I you like Jewish scholar. I said show me one Jewish scholar agree with you. <laughs> so you know, do you accept the Talmud? Do you accept that they wrote in Talmud? My friend, the Talmud is not a holy book. We are talking about the book of Numbers. Why you are why you are mixing scholars, things up? Jewish you see how scholars. you see how you see how, you see how silly you are. You see how silly you are. You see how silly you are. I am a Christian. I am a Christian. I am a Christian. I believe in books, and the Talmud is not a book we believe in. So now I'm asking you. I did not say Can you, you show me? You said you wanted Can Jewish you scholars, show me? No. Can Jewish you show me? Can you show me? I don't want to repeat myself. I don't want to repeat myself. Can you show me one scholar agree with you? Did you read? Did you hear the verse? By the way. Okay, you see, here we go. So you are you give up? No, you you're ignoring. You know what the verse? You're ignoring the verse. You're ignoring the verse that your prophet have sex with kids. Okay, let me let me show you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You did not answer. You you failed to prove anything in the Bible says that because the word of children there. The word of children. The word of children. Hold on. The word of children. Little one. You see, what is the little one? Little one, what is a little one? To marry the little one, it says to marry the little one. It says to marry the little one. It says to kill every male among the little ones and kill every woman. Look, it's making a distinction between a woman and a little one that have known a man. Do you know what women mean? All the women children. Do you know what women mean? Not know my man. Do you know what? Do you know what women mean? Mean what women mean in Arabic? What imra I mean? A woman. I'm asking you what the word women mean. Women. Even a girl could be called a woman. Yeah, but the girl. A, there we go. You just use the correct word. Woman means so, female. So there's a woman girl. There's a girl and there's a woman in in, in the language. The word woman. The word of woman is someone she lost her virginity. She is a it woman. Does not say that. It says the right woman. Here, the, 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 the one. The female. Man. Now listen, so listen. Okay, let me. Uh, so you fail. You see, this is your interpretation. You can have fun with it. But it's not interpretation. But, I'm reading word for word. No, 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 no. This is your interpretation. You have to show me one Read Christian interpretation. Read yourself out loud. Okay, my friend. If I let us make. A challenge me and you. I show you interpretation of the Quran. You show me interpretation of the Bible. And the one who win, everybody will laugh. What do you think? Do you believe the Bible is literal, my friend? Do you agree to show me one do interpretation? Do you agree? Literal. Do, you agree? do you agree? No, it's not literal. What literal mean? What literal mean? Jesus said, "The one who drink from my water, he will know." So, does that mean Jesus is giving water? It's not literal. So, Jesus was making it up. Yeah, he wasn't cheering. Now listen, when Jesus he says, "The one who drink from my water will never go thirsty, will never die." Do he mean really he water? Serious? Do he really mean water? Do he mean water? I'm not sure. I'm asking. What do you mean? No sure. Why? Somebody literal. told you that Jesus he have a faucet. He walk around with the water. So listen. I asked you if it's literal. No, you have to prove it. Do you have a proof? Do you, I asked you if it's literal? You said no. That's fine. Okay. So I'm asking you now. I am. But I'm willing to show you from the verse, Quran. I'm willing to show you from the Quran. The I'm willing to show you from the Quran that you marry and you divorce kids. Can you show me where in the Bible it says that? You could not. I just showed you. No, the verse doesn't accept. say that. The verse the does Bible, not say that, my friend. Everybody is laughing at you. It doesn't say that. So you don't want you want you want an interpretation of a fallible human being, but you don't want the infallible word of God. Why you see, you because you are giving your own interpretation. You are not, not giving me. You are giving me your own. I, I'm I'm saying to you, give me interpretation to prove your point. Can I read the part? Can I read the verse? <laughs> and you can. You did already. <laughs> you did already. Five times. You did, you did already, you my friend. My, my friend, you did already, didn't you? Says I'll kill every male mm. among the little ones. Little ones means kids. Mm. And I kill every woman that have known man by lying with him. Notice how it uses the woman, the term woman. Okay, by did itself. you say kill every woman who known a man? Verse okay, says, did you did you kill every woman who known a man? Okay, hold on, hold on. Kill every woman who known a man. Did you say that? 
and it says, but all the women children, my friend, okay, this branch is care, woman, care so every, women okay, who, who they will keep, they will keep the women who don't have a female, so, they, they don't have a man, correct? So kill innocent women, yeah? Well, okay, let me ask you now. Do you want to change topic? We can talk about it. You want to talk no, about no, killing or marrying now? Means, yeah, kill the innocent women, yeah? Well, no, they are not innocent according to this book. Harun, did let, you just hear yourself? You said no. Okay, let me ask you. 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 All of them. Did, did, did Ali burn people alive? Burning people alive for a specific reason versus killing every okay, single person. Okay, so what is the reason to burn people alive? God commanded. We believe, I know it sounds really difficult to believe that, okay. but we believe God commanded Ali to do that. Okay, if a Muslim woman, if a Muslim woman, she leave Islam, if a Muslim woman, she leave Islam, do you kill her? What's up? If a Muslim woman, she leave Islam, do you kill her? Yes, and I can show you a verse in the Bible. But you just said to me, you, you are saying, uh, but you, you, but you are saying to me, you see the hypocrisy now? You are saying to me, the verse of the apostles. Okay, let me, let me ask you, let me ask you. When they asked the prophet, when they asked the prophet, we are going now to attack and we killed uh, uh, children and women from the enemy. Never said that. Did he say, did he say, Never says children. Huh? Never says children. Bring me one where it says kill children. Never says kill children. Okay, here we go. You see, I'm going to show you from the Quran to show everybody from that you, Quran, because you. I want the word child. A whole day. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. You, you see, because if I show you from the hadith, you will say there's many hadith are corrupt. So let's show you from the Quran. Show me authentic hadith. I said show me authentic hadith. No, no, no. no, no. I will show you from the Quran. Hadith. That's authentic. easy. That's easier. That's easier from the Quran. What do you think about the Quran? Do you accept the Quran or not? The Quran. Do you have the verse that says kill innocent children? Yes. Or kill children. Even innocent or not. Kill mm -hmm. children. Do you have a verse? Please. I it says kill many. children. No problem. Do you have it? Here we go. Where does it say? Which ayah? It is kill C. children. Hold on. Focus. Hold on. Kill children. You have the ayah. Read for me. This is a chapter 18 about chapter 18. the Prophet Al Khadr. Let me read from here. I'm expecting to see the word child. Just no problem. Or children doesn't matter. It can be plural. Okay. <clears throat> read, read for me. Do you have the what's the verse? Because I don't have the screen. Do you have the verse? Chapter eighteen, verse number seventy-four. Seventy-four. Okay. But you notice how you are jumping from place to place or all over the place when we are laughing. I yeah. asked you a simple question. I said, what does it mean? When you it see, says, here we go, you know. Uh, okay. said, no problem, no problem. Said, people, people, people are laughing. Read, okay. This is Quran. This is not Hadith. Because I know you are a Shia. A Shia and they, they love to lie day and night. There's, their bread and breakfast is lying. Taqiyya. Now, read it. This is Quran. Are you going to say this is weak Quran? Did you read the, the context of the story? Don't tell me the context. You said to me, show me what it says a kid. Okay. <laughs> it's a kid. Okay, yeah, let's see what it says. Let's okay, see what it says. read it. So they set out until they met a boy. Now, of course, it says boy. I mean, I don't know if that means anything to you. Uh -huh. but so now boy is not, you do not know what boy mean? I said, what does child mean? Because I can call an older person a boy. Really? I call somebody an older person a child. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay, okay, why, 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 okay why this boy was killed? Explain to us. Allah commanded Al -Khidr to kill him. Hmm, why? Because he was going to cause hardship for his parents. Uh, but you know what's funny is that your Bible also tells to kill your to kill your children if they disobey their parents. So it seems like he was justified in that, wasn't he? My friend. Oh, my friend, you see, everybody is laughing at you. You challenge me and you accept the challenge. No, my friend, no. My Bible does not say. My Bible does not say if a person disobey only if a person he insulted his parents is the punishment is death. But this child, but this child, but this child did not insult anyone. He did not even do it yet. Read the verses. Read, read. Don't change topic. Did he do insult his parents? Did he do anything? Why does it matter? Allah knew he was what going to do doesn't matter. So no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So are you saying in Islam you can punish a person before he commit a crime? If Allah reveals it to you, yes. Really? Allah is the judge. I mean, are you going to say that okay. God is not but, your judge? But you notice, know you notice a second ago you were challenging me to show you where it says that you can kill children. Kill children. And you are the one who said innocent. And you know the... Aren't you innocent until you commit guilt in Islam? 
What what was the reason why he killed the child? Why? Tell me. He did not do anything. Said, it says he was going to cause hard. He is going to. Thank you, guys. Did he say? Did he say he is going to? He did not do it yet. We're not talking about some random person saying, "Okay, let me just." Kill my myself friend, but he did not do it yet. yet. We're talking about Allah, okay. who knows what's going to happen. My friend, my friend. First of all, first of all, okay. First of all. Isn't it Allah? He says Allah is all forgiven. What if this person he do something and he asks for forgiveness? So Allah you, you punish that. him. Listen, Allah listen, listen that. at the stupid, stupid you say. You just Allah say it, it, Allah this, is not this guy is a, this this kid is a Muslim kid, is he? No, does not say Muslim kid. Does not? not say that it says boy it says boy does not say Muslim. Okay, let me show you that he's a Muslim kid and you're an ignorant. From from what books? From the same book. What's wrong with you? You do not know your book, don't you? From what? From the Quran, you said? Yes, yeah, from Muslim? the Quran. From the Quran, it says Muslim. Yeah. Where does it say the word Muslim? Verse number eighty. His parents were believers. Never said he was. Isn't it your? Isn't it the Quran? Isn't it your prophet says everyone is born as a Muslim? Born. Uh, did you hear what you just said? You said born. Yes, that born as a Muslim. It says. Did you hear what he says? And uh, and, and do you know what he said after? And do you know what he said after? Listen, 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 listen. Just to show you how silly. Just to show you how ignorant you are. Believer. Listen, listen, your prophet he says everyone is born as a Muslim, and then his born, parents the same listen, listen, a cap, and he said, are. and his parents you know the, and, uh, and his parents will make you know him difference. believer or not. Do you know the difference between his parents? He said, did your prophet say his parents will make him believer or not? So does the verse say he was a Muslim? Okay, so yes, because the parents are Muslims. And he is that born as a Muslim. Your parent is a Muslim, and you are <laughs> yeah. age where your sins are. Now listen, listen. Okay, so now not, this ki this kid Muslim, is is going to be Muslim. killed for what reason? It says. Hmm. Did you read the verse? It says we fear that he would overburden them by transgression and disbelief, meaning he's going to be a disbeliever. <laughs> he's going to be a disbeliever. So according to you, a child who disbelieve in Allah should be killed. According to you. Many people should be killed, but I'm not judging you, am I? No, no, I'm asking I'm you now. Don't change topic. According to your religion, if a child he is not a Muslim should be killed. Everybody heard you. That's not what it says. This is what you just said. Now you say because context. he will not be a believer. The verse says and that. We, I did not say that. Didn't you say it's, it's recorded? Killed, it's recorded. You, you said he so will be he will be killed because he is not a believer. It says we over that we feared he would do so, which means Allah already mentioned that he was going to do so in mm. the future. He was mm. going to do so. Mm. Which means Allah already knew it, hmm. and Allah ordered Al Khidr salam, to kill the boy. Okay, so now is it, Islam, is it, is it Islamic it's rule? Is it Islamic? Is it Islamic rule to punish somebody before he commits his crime? I just told you this has a context. Did you not hear what I just said? I'm Specific asking you, where is the context? I'm not saying Moses says kill all children. Did I say that? No, I said Moses was ordered to kill a specific group of children, and he slaughtered all of them because God told I'm him. I'm asking you, how so you punish a person? Say, that God cannot say to kill a boy, then you must reject that Moses is a prophet with divine res. With okay, divine let, let me ask you: When a child is going to be uh, punished for a crime, according to you, is okay, he aware the of the of crime the that Moses killed? What were the sins of the children that Moses? I'm killed? asking you: Is he aware? Those are in war. These those are not just the kids coming after. So the you kill innocent children even if you're in war? Well, they kill Come their on, kids man. too. They kill their kids. So that the American soldiers when they, they go and they, bomb children, the, the enemies, the enemies, they kill their kids them. too. The, the the enemies, they kill their kids. They take their women. They enslave them. They rape them. Nowhere, they took the whole. Nowhere. They, they took the, the, the they took the whole the nation of Israel. Listen, listen. Is it true? Let me ask you. Is it true? Is it true? They took the whole nation of Israel as slaves. Yes or no? What do you mean? Is it true that the Jews will enslave the whole nation? Yes or no? Will enslave? Yes. They or were. They were enslaved. enslaved. They were enslaved. They were slaves. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the whole nation. This is what they are doing to them. And Moses They're believed. Killing I've... innocent children because. Okay. Here we go. So you see, kids. now you, you are saying yourself. to me, if a child who don't believe in Allah, we can kill him. Those exactly. who don't believe in it their has God. A specific context. <laughs> not say I'm going to kill all of these children because of something they didn't do. This is one boy. Okay. You have Moses kill. No, no, but this is Multiple this is an example. This is an children. example how Muslim believe. So the boy here resemble any boy. Is he a, a specific person or just a boy? It's a, it's a specific person. That's what do you mean specific? Boy, what do you mean a specific the person? The boy. Hmm? What do you mean? What do you mean a specific person? He's just a boy. Boy who will the do boy, the boy. It says a specific boy. The boy it doesn't say a boy. It says okay. 
I'm asking you, this this boy can be your son. Okay, if, if Allah revealed to you that your son, your son, don't believe in Allah, are you going to kill him? Again, I asked you, does the verse say don't a, a boy or every boy, or does it say the boy? A boy, a boy, it's a boy. It the boy, do not lie. It this is why he don't have a name, my friend. This is why he don't have a name, a gulam. Read the verse in Arabic, read the verse friend, in Arabic. Gulam, here we go. In Arabic, what is boy in Arabic? In this verse, what is the boy? Ghulam. Al Ghulam. Don't lie. It's Al Ghulam. Here we go. It's in the front of you. Everybody will, is laughing so at you. Here we go. Right Here we go. Read it. Read it. Where it says Al Ghulam. Why it says Al Ghulam? Al Ghulam is the boy. Where is the word Al Ghulam? Read it. Read it. Where is the word Al Ghulam? Read it. Lie and said it means every boy. Abdul. Where is the word? Where is the word Al Ghulam? What's wrong with you? Read it. Where it says Where it says Al? It's in the front of you. Here we go. It's in Arabic. Okay, read it for me. No, 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 no. I want you to show me the word Al Ghulam. It says Ghulam. Al Ghulam. Read it. It's in the front of you. It's in the screen. It's in the screen. It's in the screen. It says, okay, read it for me where it says L. I want to show me the word L. My friend, this is the answer because now he is in the past. Now read for me verse number 74. <laughs> we met a boy. We met we met a boy. So it's a specific boy. A boy. A boy now became a specific a boy. boy. <laughs> and then verse 80 clarifies that a specific did you just say in your boy. translation it says so a like, boy like context, okay yeah? so let's listen to this listen to this you, like you call me you call me in the beginning you call me in the beginning you you, you direct that that topic to speak about something far away from our topic and now you are in trouble your quran says you can be, you can kill even your child if you don't believe in allah and you admit it or you're not going to admit that moses was commanded to kill every single little boy of all of the specific nation well this is what they are the doing to them moses but those uh, okay also, uh, no problem also okay hold this see, you see when 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 when, when, uh, when we, when we started listen listen, that, yes? listen listen uh, uh, ahmed muhammad not, yes or no, listen no, listen no. listen when i started our uh, topic today yes no? when i, I started my topic you today do you know what i said when i started i said when muslim we speak to them they deny because they are ashamed we don't deny because we are ashamed so this is the difference between us I I, you said to me, you said to me in the book of Moses, Moses it says Please, that, 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 that. that, that, that. I said yes, it says that, but you deny because you're so you ashamed of your God teaching. So you, you should do it. You, yeah. you deny you're ashamed you of your God teaching. No, I should not do it you because this is this is was for a certain him. certain people thousand of years ago who they are trying to survive. Everybody, everybody want to kill them. Everybody want to oh save them. Everybody is their enemy. Now let me ask you: Did 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 Jesus kill anyone? Jesus is, according to his God, he commanded people to kill people. No problem. Listen, Jesus is God. He commanded people to kill people. Jesus himself, you, yes. Jesus himself, he, Jesus himself, he will send you to hellfire. If you believe that, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. No problem. So I'm asking you now. You believe, hold on, I'm you asking you. I'm, I'm asking you. Listen, listen. You see, you're trying oh, to change all my Jesus topic, and you, you and, you, and you are jumping from from a place and to place. You just we, said that you said so are, Jesus, We the are hell laughing. We are laughing. Period. We are laughing. First of so all, who says, my friend, 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 let me ask you, let me ask you. When you yes as a Muslim, no. Why can't you say yes no? when you are a Muslim, you try to prove to us something. What are you, what are you trying to prove? Tell I'm me, saying, if you're going to say that my prophet is not a prophet because he killed children, according to you, or any prophet. No, I said your prophet is not a prophet Most because prophet, he is. He no, no, I did not say that. I did not say that. I said your prophet, I, I said your prophet cannot be a prophet for he's a liar. He's a child molester. In what way did he lie? He's a he's a criminal. He's a thief, and we can prove criminal it all from the Quran. Moses stole. I don't want to hear that. Okay, Moses Sh show, killed, me, show me where that. show me Moses. Moses raped. Okay, hold on, hold on. Show me where Moses what raped. Do you no, have? no, no, no. Everything you say is a lie. Show me where Moses raped. Moses raped. He just. I just showed you the verse. No, the no, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. Life. No, it doesn't say rape them. Show me where it says rape them. I can show you from the Quran. It, it says, says them. all the women children that I have friend, not told my friend, by lying with show me where it says you see, you see, you see, you see, you are fabricating things. Okay, listen, listen, uh, Amir, Amir, a challenge between me and you. If you can show me where in the whole Bible it says you can rape a woman, you are my hero. In the same time, I will show it to you, you right now from the, the Quran. Listen, 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 listen. No, they marry them. They don't rape them. I can show you from the Quran where it says you rape women. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy. You ready for this? Read it. Deuteronomy 22, 28 to 29. And if mm. a man, a man finds a damsel that is a virgin, which he is not betrothed to, which means he's not married to, mm. and lay hold of her and lie with her, which means rape her, because she clearly didn't consent, mm. and they be found out, then the man that lay with her shall give 
the father, obviously this is your punishment. You pay the father mm. and she shall be his wife. So he raped the woman and now he's his wife mm. forever. Okay. Read the, okay. So you listen, put listen, listen, hold on, hold on. It says he laid the down. Woman, listen, listen, listen. You are, you, are being, you are just being a kid. If you read the whole chapter, you will see it says there clearly that if a man, he laid down with a woman and she don't scream, there's a woman she scream and there's a woman she asks for help. That is the rape. So the women who agree, she is not being raped. So he is given a chance to marry her. Otherwise, he will be killed. Does it say that? Then explain explain what this means. My so friend, does it say he will be killed? Does it mean? say he will be killed? Does it say that? Now in Islam, yeah, if a Muslim say. man, if a Muslim man, let me ask you, okay, in front of everybody, the same chapter you are reading, I can pray it right now. Everybody will die laughing at you. If a man rape a woman, he will be killed. Literally. Yeah, I believe that. Okay. Now I want to I want to ask you in Islam, do you have a rule for rape? Where is the punishment of rape? Death. You yeah. have a free will. Okay, this yeah. is my challenge for you in the whole Quran where we can show me the punishment of rape. Why do you need the Quran? I told you I don't, I'm not a Qurani. I don't believe you told me the Quran is hadith. the only book is preserved. Are you saying to me, Allah, He forgot to mention where to say not to rape? In it the whole says, book? So you're looking for an ayah that says it, yeah? Any Good verse ayah. in the Quran says don't rape. And there, if you I rape, there's a punishment. The Quran is, a hujja? is that what I said? Did I say I'm a Qurani? I never said that. So you, you don't follow Quran now? I said, can you show me? I can show you from a hadith that says it, but you don't want to accept that I can believe in that. Okay, here we go. Chapter 4, chapter 4, okay, chapter 4, chapter 4, verse number 24, it says you can rape women. What does that say? Chapter 4, verse 24. Yeah, okay. What does it say? Read it. You want me to read it? You don't want to read it yourself? No, I do not know. My English is bad. Okay, 430, 40, uh, 434, yeah? Mm. No problem. 34 or 24? You sure it's? 424. 24, okay. Mm. And also prohibited you are all married women except those who your right hands possess. For what? Well, I mean, we can read the previous verse and that might give the context. Mm. This is a decree upon, uh, this is the decree of Allah upon you. Allah mm. for you are all others beyond these, provided that you seek them in marriage, which is also, this is the verse of Mutar. Mm. Beyond these, provided that you seek them in marriage with gifts from your property, designed chastity and not unlawful sexual intercourse. Mm. Huh? What are you doing with these women so that you do not seek lawful and sexual intercourse? So for whatever you enjoy of, of course, in the, in, it doesn't say this word, but we can interpret it as that because this is actually derived from the no, word. It Mutar. says enjoy. It says enjoy. Okay. It says wherever you enjoy of marriage, because muta is 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 marriage. There's no marriage there. The word marriage does not appear there, my friend. Where's, where's this, uh, no, 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 no. I don't want to go to the muta first. Let us finish, finish here. It is says, this, is this the muta first? my friend. I know we are not talking about. It says here it's forbidden for you married women except those who they, you capture them. Does it say that? Oh, but Moses, Moses did that. So my yeah. friend, no, he did not do that. Okay. Those women, those women, they are. They, you just said to me, you are the one who told me they are children. You liar. They have no husband. It says women, children. I didn't read the verse like My that. Friend, it says, it says, that. it says very clearly, women who never lay with a the man. They are virgins. Read, read Stop verse lying. Read verse Stop lying. Read now here, those are women who they have husbands. Read verse eight. Does it say? Does it say that those are women who have husbands? All right, which version of the Bible do you want? And I'll give verse 18. My friend, doesn't matter. Read from any version you want. None of them says what was. Says, my friend, my friend, women, it says children, that women kill. Aren't you the one who says to me, kill all except. Does it, did you say that? It says, now kill every male among the little ones, which is kids, hmm. and kill every woman that hath known man by lying with them. Hmm. But all the women, children, I did not use the word, the, hmm. this translation and this version uses the word children. Hmm. So don't say I'm lying. The hmm. word says children. Hmm. I didn't create the word. Okay, read, read, read. Okay, read. Let us read together. But all the women, children, hmm. that have not known a man by lying with them, keep them alive for yourselves. So kill all the men, okay, keep, women, and Keep them alive boys. for yourself to do what with them? They take them as a slaves, right? Slaves. Okay, does it so say you, go you rape them? Slavery, yeah? Okay, does it say go rape them? You want to rape? No, no, does it say, does it say, go rape them? Does it, where do you get to do it? Keep them for so yourself. God, okay. hold on, hold on. So you see how hypocrite liar Take you are. Second. Okay, so now those Take are women. So hold on, hold on, no hold women, no because women should be raped. So you see the verse you gave yeah? me, no women be raped. No women be raped. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Now I'm asking you, listen, Abdul, don't make me hang up on you losing my patience. I'm asking, do you want I'm asking you. Why the Quran says, why the Quran says, it's forbidden for you married women except those who you capture. Why you are raping? Why you are raping married women? Quran does not say rape. So what do you do with them? It says forbidden for you. Except. So what do you do with these slaves? What did Moses do with these slaves? Okay, See, let, not let me, my let, question. Let, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, which which slave of Moses he slept with? 
I didn't say Moses specifically did it. Well, but you Moses just said that to me. The prayer of the verse is speaking about specifically sleeping with them. It's forbidden for you, women, who they are, etc., etc., except women who they are married, but they are slaves. But all the women that have not known a man by lying with them keep up yourself. Why, why <laughs> keep them as a slave? Keep they them as a slave. You see, so my you friend, everybody is laughing at you, and this is why I'm having patience because we need a comedian. Now, here the, the verse in the front of us it says you can rape women in the same time. You, say, wait, in the same you time, you admitted, Arabic, you, you, ad, you admitted you admitted that not a single verse in the Quran says don't rape. Did, is that correct? There's not a single verse in the Quran that says rape either. Okay. So if you want to, no. if you want to play that game, no, it says that. Here we go in front of you. It doesn't say rape. It doesn't it says, rape. You have the word rape. Okay, no, no, no. Rape. Okay, for, uh, for hold, on, hold, on, hold on, let's make it simple. Can you show you me a verse? Right? You said rape. Can you, okay, are you saying to me, Allah have time to tell us about the ant, speaking to the ant, the flying carpet of Suleiman, the chair of Suleiman, the Suleiman, he dies standing on the... Thing is a flying all that. So Allah don't have a time to make one verse about don't rape women? I said it's a hadith. Why, why, why okay, do you keep so why it's Quran? not in the Quran? So you believe? I'm sorry, I'm not Omar. I'm, I'm asking Omar. you. He I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Don't you think there is there is something missing in this book? A book for God to mention. Very important. Your book forgot to abolish slavery. Okay. So, so what is that? that no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't change topic. Listen. Why okay. Allah forgot to mention not to rape in the Quran? Why did Allah forget not to mention that any man could just rape a woman, pay his father, and then he's married to her forever? Why didn't God get rid of that? When he done that? What? What? That means I, anybody what, can do it now. Where? Where it says so that? A Muslim, I can do that, right? According to the Bible, or no? You don't believe that? No, the Bible doesn't say what you are saying. The Bible it says if a man he lay down, you see, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are a kid. You, I don't respect you. Read you. it for yourself. Listen, listen. Why, you don't like what listen, I read. Listen, okay, listen. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm going to put the verses on the screen. What, what verse your name for me? Deuteronomy mm. chapter twenty-two, mm. verses twenty-eight to twenty-nine. Those two verses. Chapter 22, right? Verses 28, 28 to 29. Sorry. Okay. Because if you're going to pick one specific verse... I'm no, 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 pick, no, 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 no. We, 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 yes? we will show the whole thing in front of everybody and everybody will die laughing at you. And then so after we do that... Listen, listen, listen. After, after, after said, we yeah? do that, after we do that, do you do you have the courage to apologize? Apologize for what? Did for lying? I, I read the verses. The verses, not lies. I read the verses. Are you the verses not. lies now? You did not. If a man... Find a damsel, which means a woman, okay. that is a virgin, which is not betrothed, she's not married, and lay hold of her, which means capture her, and lie with her, have sex with her. I don't know if you know what lie with her means. Hmm. Have sex with her, and they be found. And the man that okay. lay with did, her, did so he, he, did, because does he, he say, committed rape, did he say, he did, 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 he say did he say he raped her? Where does he say rape in the Quran? See, you're not going to be able to get you see, here we go, you, you are a liar, you see, Why okay. No, 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 the, the, the Bible you are reading from, my friend, is very clear. You are a person, everybody will laugh at you. I will open the verses in the front of me and everybody will and laugh at you. I can give you a reason second. why this refers to rape. No, 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 listen, listen. You see, what we discover here is very important. That Muslims, they try to quote something, they did not read the whole chapter. Did you read the whole chapter? I have to read the whole chapter to no, I'm asking verses? you, did you read ever the whole, all not, not the chapter, okay, did you, read the, did you read the whole page? Or only a verse you are quoting from a website? I quote two verses, I quote one. Okay, what, what, context, what is the first verse? What is the first verse? The first, you want to go all the way to the first beginning of the chapter? No, no, no. Yes? What is the first verse? 28 to huh? 29. It's literally. The chapter, verse. chapter. Chapter 22 of Deuteronomy, okay. which means the so second law. Did you, read, did you read the verse after the verse you are quoting for me? You want verse 30? No, I'm asking you, did you read it ever before? I read these two verses, which means that. You know, I'm asking you, did you ever read the verse before? The, the verse before you want to read mm. the verse before yeah i'm asking you did you ever read did you ever read the verses before where he found her in the field and the betrothed damsel cried and there was none to my say friend, my question is very simple one. did you ever read the verses before and the verses after or only those verses you know i what doc did you want me to read them i'm not Wait, asking you i'm just asking a question did you ever read the whole page did you only or only you are read quoting all from, of chapter 22 or, or, no, okay I did not read my, my friend 22. why you are why you are being acting like a kid why you don't you are, you are replying to play i don't i don't understand you so i'm asking you did you ever my friend did you ever did you ever read the page that's the page not the whole chapter did you read the page there if i go to a specific verse that's the only verse that's gonna be on the page okay today. why you are going only to specific verse you went specifically to one verse okay. and then the so, chat, but isn't it, isn't, it going to be is, isn't it going to be embarrassing for you 
if I show Lord, you that you are stupid now in front of everybody you because you did not read, one verse no, 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 listen, listen, listen. If I show, if no, is, isn't it? I'm asking I'm you. I'm asking you. Isn't it going to be embarrassing for you? If I show everybody, if I show everybody, my friend, if I show everybody that you are an ignorant, isn't it going to be embarrassing? Because you just can say, you read the verse. Because what you just say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Read the verse. You see, I, I did not show it in the screen because we need to. We need a love. I'm, I'm trying to. You don't want to read the verse. I want you to be stubborn. I want you to say. I did I not read to show anything. The people the verse. I did not read anything except that verse. Did you say that? And you did not read anything. Did you, you say? Did, did you say? Okay. Verse okay. Here we go. Except for okay, verse what, the first verse. You said the twenty-two, right? Twenty-seven. Uh, Twenty-eight to 20, twenty-nine. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Only you want to read those, correct? And you only read verse okay. twenty-four from certain Timothy. Okay. Would you admit that you only okay, did hold that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Did you only do that? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody will be laughing at you. You said that a man he can rape a woman. You said that. Okay. This is the Bible in front of us. Read the verse and explain it. If or a man, uh, if a man, he found a woman in the field and he forced her and he lay down with her, he shall die. Does it say that? Where does it say? Which verse is that? Verse 25. 25. Mm. And then read 28 and tell me what that means. My friend, does it say if he forced her, she shall die? But if a man find a betrothed. Okay. You see? Okay. Deceive the people. Okay. This listen. Okay. Listen. Listen. Does it say if does it say does it say if he forces her? Okay. Does it say if he forces her? Yes or no? It's adultery. You just okay. admit it. My friend. No. 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 He forces her. It says a man. He forces her. Does it say he? Does it say? Listen. Listen. Does it say he forces her? In verse twenty-five. Yes. No. In yes, verse twenty-five. In verse 25, but if a man find a betrothed damsel in the field and the man force her, that means forcing her, hmm. and lie with her, then the man only that lie with her shall die. Okay, so, so the woman, she will not die. The that okay. Death. okay, hold on. So the man, he will be killed if he forced the woman to sleep a with her. betrothed woman. Don't please. Don't Doesn't matter. That okay, now betrothed here. Okay, no problem. No, no problem. No problem. No problem. Married okay. Woman, yeah? okay, the other verse, what is the difference between the verse before it and the verse after it? If a man find a woman, with, which is a virgin, or and he lay down with her. To twenty-eight, my Mary, friend. That, and he lay better? down with her. Okay. What's the difference between that woman and this woman? One is betrothed. One's a virgin. Yeah, but you see that there it says he forced her. Why is it? But the other verse doesn't matter. Why would I, hold on? Okay. So uh, hold, admit, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, okay. hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're not gonna let me finish. Uh, I, me finish. I, no, I'm letting you finish. You asked me a question. Okay. I can't answer. Okay. I'm asking you. So if a man he forced a woman, what the punishment? If a betrothed woman, according to the verse, says that a betrothed, hmm. please don't forget that word. My friend, Stop. no problem. Keep saying a woman. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Does it, it say? Matter. Does it, it say? say hold on. Does it say? Doesn't say. Does it say, does it say don't hurt the woman because she did not commit any sin because he is the one only should lie because he is the one who forced her. So when a man has sex with a virgin who is not married to him, why? why he is has, the man only you just said so that. You see? You see? You, you just get yourself busted. He has sex with her. Sex with a virgin. Sex with a virgin. Yes, he had sex. He Which would not, not betroth and lay hold of her. What hold on, hold on, hold on. So you, he Come had on, sex. Man. He did not rape her. Does it say he raped her? I'm going to read it again. If a man <laughs> find a damsel or a woman that is a virgin, mm. clear cut, says right. virgin, not what, not be married, right. virgin, mm. which is not betrothed. See, even did, he, did he rape her? And lays hold of her. What is lay hold of her? Please, okay. please tell the audience. Okay, what that I don't means. know. You tell me. What does that mean? He, he, he to grab her. hold of her, to capture her. He sleep with her because she did not scream. You see, a woman, he for what the difference between the first one and the second one? He so forced rape, her it's against his woman, her will, my I, friend, my rape, friend, yeah, my friend, my friend. Listen, you are trying to find it's not you, are, you are trying to find your own ideas. However, look what we discover now, based on what you say, that in the Bible we have verses saying if a man he forced a woman, and you say it because she is married, I'm right? Married woman. He will be he will be killed. Married. He, woman, hold on, yes. married woman, no problem. But it says if he forced her now. The other woman who he laid down with her, he will he marry her as a punishment. Now, let me ask you, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is the solution if this man did not marry her? If he laid hold of her, which means he captured her. Okay, listen. Okay, he. I, I will go with you just for the sake of argument. The man, okay. if he captured a woman and this and woman, she, her. no, no, listen, listen, let's laid with her. It's about like me. I was in the field. I saw a girl. I know her. Maybe I'm chasing her. And she did not, she is not forced into sex with me. All right? Because the proof of that, she did not scream. She did not ask for any help. 
So he did that, and she did not resist. What, what, so if, woman, what a different. Help, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, you see, here it says clearly that the difference between them, the first woman and the second woman, that the first one she'd been forced, and she did that against her will. It says lay hold of her. What's lay hold of her? Okay, let you. me ask you. Did you read verse number? Did you, did you read verse number twenty-three? Twenty-three. Now okay. you want to go another? Okay, read. Okay, read it. Don't read want it. to stick with twenty-eight. Okay. Read it. Read. It. Okay, read it. We will go to twenty-three now. Okay, read. That is a virgin. Be betrothed, which means she's married onto a husband, and a man find her in the city and lie with her. So again, this clarifies she's married, which is adultery. But she is a virgin, my friend. She is a virgin. She's a, a virgin. virgin okay. that is yeah. betrothed. Okay, that means so now listen, virgin. listen, listen. Okay, so the punishment of a man he slept with the woman she is married, he will die. Correct? Adultery. Yes. That's okay. This adultery. is adultery. The second one is not correct. It's fornication. No, which the, is rape. The first because one the here. The, the first one is fornication. Correct. This one twenty-three. Verse fornication. Twenty-three. My friend, make adultery. it simple. Verse twenty-five. Uh, adultery. Okay, verse no. Verse twenty-five is, is a rape. You, it's, don't make me hang up on you. It says there, he, she is here. This woman, she is married, correct? Verse twenty-three. Verse twenty-three. Of the okay. virgin be betrothed, which means she's married okay. unto a husband. Which means she has a husband. No, no, my friend, married. my friend. Okay, but she is a virgin, right? But she is married. Okay. Now, it doesn't matter virgin if she's married. My she's friend, married. she is. The word in Arabic is is not even marriage, my idiot, your idiot friend. Maktuba, Maktuba, engaged. She is engaged. She is engaged. According to the Jews, an engaged woman, she is equal to a wife, but there is no sex between them. You are an ignorant idiot. Now I'm asking you. Say? Does, you it say, does it say? Does it say there she is? Bible? She is. What does it say in Hebrew? She is engaged. Say in she say. You know? Do you speak Hebrew? No, I'm asking you. <laughs> you saying it says in Arabic? Arabic is not even what I'm reading. My friend, no, it doesn't matter. I'm Hebrew, giving you the word. The I'm giving you the equal Hebrew. word. So how she is married, but she is virgin because she is engaged. Even you Muslim, you copy the Jews. You make katib kitab, which means engagement of marriage, which means legally she is your wife, but you have no intercourse with her. Correct? So she says. You, did you hear what you just said? Legally, she's his wife. Yeah. Yes, legally, but she is not. She is not yet in his bed. She she don't live with him in his house. Okay. Okay. So she is a virgin now. Still if he adultery. slept with her, if okay. Listen, 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 listen. If he slept with her, this is adultery, correct? If somebody sleeps with a woman that is married, okay, it is adultery. Okay. Now the second verse. Then but, okay. The, the, then it says here. Then you shall bring them both out into the, the gate of the city, and you stone them both. Correct. Stolen them both. Okay, what is the so difference why, between? Okay, hold on, hold on. What is the difference? Why, why here the women she will be killed? No, it doesn't say the woman's gonna be killed. It says the man is gonna be killed. Doesn't say no woman, problem. No, the women. No, it says both, both. Oh, in the in the verse of adultery, it says both because they both, both, okay, consented to the adultery. That's Thank right. you very much. So because Which both of them they commit adultery, a verse no problem. Okay, exactly why in the second verse why the women she will not be killed because she did not do anything wrong. Because she was raped. That's Thank why. you very much. Now, the so first, according to the verse, okay, you just admitted so, that so the rape, raped. the rape punishment, you just admitted the rape punishment <laughs> is death. Is he has to pay the, the woman's father. He has to <laughs> marry no, the first no. he raped. No, no, this is not rape. This is a man. He slept with the women, and now because he used her, nobody will marry her. So the punishment for him, if he think he can play with women and leave them alone, now he have to to pay her dowry, and he have to marry her. And he cannot divorce her forever. What's the punishment for fornication in the Bible? Death. Death. Mm -hmm. Is that not fornication? You just admitted that was fornication. Okay, hold on. So why is he paying no, money no, when he committed fornication? No, no. He's stoned to death. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Death, fornication of death is for one, somebody is married. No, that's adultery. That's it's different. in the front of you. Fornication, adultery. It's different. in the front of you. Fornication. Has the same according to the Bible has the same. Okay, let me ask you. Adultery. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Just, just show everybody how ignorant you are. According to Islam, if a woman she is not married, according to Islam, of course. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Just to show you, according a prophet is copying this book. You idiot. You are an idiot. Did, did your Quran say is your God says? Okay, in let this me book. ask you. Okay, what is the what is the punishment? What is the punishment of fornication in Islam? The punishment of fornication in Islam, according to the Sunnah, I know a lot of Christians. No, like according to the according to the Quran. Shia, according to the Shia, according to the Shia, hmm. the punishment for the fornicator is lashing. Hmm. There's be lashed. So there's no death. So lashed. there's no death. There's no death. There's no death for the fornicator. Okay. What about rape? For rape, there's death. Where? <laughs> Where? 
You want me to get you? So okay. you don't so want to what you did. Look what you did. Everybody is my witness. Everybody my witness. You are the one who picked up the topic. We discover. How did I change we, the we discover you that we are have to. Hold on, hold on, my friend. I said, let's focus on the Bible. You no, hold, to go on, to hold on, hold on. You want to go to Sunnah? You want to go to Shia? We don't want to. No, no. What Sunnah? What Shia? We are reading Quran. Don't you want me to become the Quran, a Christian? my friend? Show me the Bible. So we discover. Bible. We discover. Bible. According to you, we discover that we have a book. It's called the Book of Allah, and this the book, book for Allah God to mention any punishment for rape. Correct? You agree with that? I never said the Quran. Explicitly says that. Now, now you're adding words. Now you're putting okay. words to my mouth. Did you, did you, did you fail to give me any verse in the Quran saying that Allah? I is... said to you, mm. would it be fine if I show from my authentic hadith? Mm. You said no. You said Quran only, and I said I'm not a Quranist. Why should I have to show you only from the? But Quran? you told me. But you told me. But you told me. But you told me that the hadith is not trustworthy. I said, find me an authentic one. If it's authentic, it's trustworthy. Uh, and who is the one exactly who will means. decide what authentic? And why Allah did not mention that in the Quran, but Muhammad mentioned that in the Hadith? Are you saying to me that Muhammad There's is Allah? There's many things God didn't mention in the Bible. Why should why? why okay, here we go. I'm not so now we, we, get a, we get a book. Am we get a book. No. It's called the Christian books. The Jewish books have a Jewish punishment. Jewish books. Have you a have punishment. one book that's the Bible. My Show me another book you have that's that's more important than the Bible. My friend, my friend, hold on. So the, because the Jewish book is my book too. The, the Old Testament is my book. So now I'm asking you. The, 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 whole Bible, the Bible, the Bible, yeah, approved, the Bible. The the Bible approved that there's a punishment for rape. You fail to give me anywhere there's a punishment for rape in the whole Quran. Why? In the Quran, in the Quran, in the Quran, in the Quran. In the Quran. Can, you, can you show me hadith? I can show, if you want me the hadith, I can show you hadith. But okay. you don't want hadith. But, 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 uh, you can show, I, I will ask you to show me the hadith. Show, just wait. So why Allah, he forgot to mention such an important topic? Do you think this is a mistake? Did you hear what you just said? Yeah, I just heard I what you said. Allah hmm. forget to mention it. Yeah. I can ask you. Why did God forget to mention this, uh, this, and this, and this in the Bible? No, he mentioned, here we go. He mentioned, he, he mentioned in details the punishment of rape, of her fornication, etc. Now, I'm asking you, what is the punishment of rape in the Quran? You said none. I said it doesn't mention the punishment. Where? I did not say it doesn't mean there is not a punishment. Where, where? In the hadith. If you don't want the okay. hadith... So I let us make it clear, that, guys. In the whole Quran... The question, okay, okay thank, thank you. Thank you, uh, Muhammad. Thank you. So in the Quran, in the Quran, in the Quran there's nowhere it says Allah he punished for. It does not say punishment for no. Okay, thank you. So now I'm asking, you, hadith, I'm asking you, which one is more important to tell us about the story of Suleiman and the entering the ants to hide, or to mention to us what is the punishment of rape? What's up? What's up? Why sorry, Allah? Why Allah have time to tell us the story about Suleiman flying carpet? Suleiman he have. There's a, much flying carpet, but it's fine. What? Doesn't mention flying carpet. Uh huh. Does not. Flying carpet. You you want to find that word for that word in the Quran? Yeah. What does it say? Suleiman had control of the winds. That's not flying carpet. Please, please. How, don't say how, the same okay, thing. how he controlled the wind? Control the winds. What do you mean? That means flying carpet. Okay, that's, that's so not the same so thing. what? The, the wind pushed Suleiman in the air and he fly by by nothing. Yes, the wind carried him. Yes, that's what okay. You you are a Shia, aren't you? Yes. Okay. What it, what the interpretation you accept for the Shia? Of of wind carrying Suleiman? Yeah. What what do you mean? The wind carried Suleiman. That's a clear cut. <laughs> the flying carpet thing. You're saying this is not a flying carpet. Mention it. So Show me the verse was Okay, my friend, I'm asking you. What interpretation I'm you, you, you said uh, stop, a verse stop playing carpet, games. So where is it? We are having fun with you, by the way. I'm asking you. Hold on. What is, is the book of the Shia? Part? What is the book of the Shia you agree with? Which is going to give us? I just admitted to you, there is no such thing as a completely authentic hadith book that we I have. I am not we asking not you for authentic, the most authentic hadith. The We're not Stop playing the, the game. You see, each time we put him in the corner, he says, "I just mentioned to you, there's no." You just told me authentic hadith, right? Okay, which authentic, authentic hadith? hadith? I didn't say which authentic, authentic hadith. Can, can you give me? Hadith. Listen, listen. Can you give me an authentic hadith? Can explain that verse for us. The tafsir. Yeah. Of which verse? Because I still haven't, I don't know what verse you're talking about. You just mentioned flying carpet and never mentioned the verse. So how you know what I'm talking about then, if you don't know? You said you said flying carpet. I automatically assumed you're making chapter a thirty-four, verse number a, a twelve. Delusional chapter, interpretation chapter, of the of the wind. chapter thirty-four, verse number twelve. And the word says flying carpet. Yeah. Mm. Are we gonna make that up? Mm. I'm saying the story of the flying carpet is there, and now I'm 34? asking you. I'm asking you. Which interpretation for the Shia you accept? Hold for, on. The verse for, is 30, for this chapter verse. 34. What the interpretation? Seven. I want you to give me a name. Stop playing games. What's the verse? What's the verse? I what interpretation? Again, verse. I told you the verse. What's wrong with you? Chapter, I didn't hear chapter, you. I didn't hear chapter you. 34, verse number 12. Okay, now what, well, inter 
what interpretation of Shia you accept? Okay, let's go to verse 12 and let's read what it says. No, this is not the question now. Give me the, the give me the name of the book. Why do I need to give you interpretation when you can just read the verse? No, why, we, why, we don't, read why you don't want the interpretation of the Shia? Aren't you a Shia now? You, you don't want to be Shia no more? I said, show me from the verse. My friend, do you, you don't ever are you a Shia or not? Are you, from verse. are you a Shia you or not? Are you, okay, why you don't want to read the Shia interpretation? What's wrong with the Shia? Read the verse and I'll get the I'm interpretation. I'm asking you, why you don't want us to read? Because you will argue, you will say it doesn't say that, blah, 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 blah. Let us go read and say the, I, uh, what your the, uh, scholar says. Okay, what your scholar says about this verse. Can you read the verse? My friend, can, what is your scholar? Who is your scholar who will explain the verse for us? Go ahead. Can you read the verse before I? I'm going to give you the. You read it, no I problem. Need you to read I'm the asking verse you. First. I'm asking you. What is what is the verse? What is the interpretation you read for this verse? I'm not going to give an interpretation of a verse. Why you're not, not going to read? Why not? Because give me read the verse and I'll give you the interpretation. I give you the verse. You read it. Go ahead. Read it. You read it. Why I don't know how to read. I'm an, I am illiterate like your prophet. I am illiterate. And to Suleiman or hmm. Solomon, we subjected the wind. Hmm. Means he gave him control of the wind. Hmm. No problem here. Mm. It's morning journey was that of a month and it's afternoon journey was that of a month mm. And we made full for him a spring of leopard. Obviously these the, the rest of the verse is not important But the first part is mm. and just soon man we subjected the wind. Yes, that's mm. the part you're talking about. Mm. Yeah, okay And that's the part of the verse you're, you're focusing on yeah, where it says and just soon man we we made the wind Subjected to him which means gave him control of the wind. Yeah, mm. okay Is that the part of the verse you have the comment? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, and I mean the rest of the verse I'm saying it doesn't oh, yeah, Okay, it. okay, and I'm saying, is that the uh, part uh, of the yeah, 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 yeah. And where, where, now, what interpretation you like me to read for you about the flying carpet? You as a Shia. You find me. A, a, one of them, the Shia Tafsir books yeah. with the with the Hadith mm. that is authentic. Can you find ah, those three things? The Shia Tafsir book is full of lies, you are saying then. I did not say that. So I said what? there are weak Hadith in there. And okay. authentic hadith My friend, in I'm there. asking you, this is why I'm asking you, which Shia book you accept to be the Quran interpretation for? Only Tafsir book of the Shia. You find me authentic Hadith. You find me in the Shia so, book so specifically. You are, you are, and you, you, give you, me are, the you are admitting now that the Shia, they agree with me. And you are a liar. I did not say that. Okay, now you say, you know what? Did you hear what I okay, said? Can you give me this? Okay. Okay. Now let's go, go back to that question. Why Allah have time to tell us about controlling the wind for Suleiman? And Suleiman, and Suleiman, and Suleiman, listen, 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 and Suleiman, and Suleiman, he have an army of birds, an army of genie, an army of a human. <laughs> and Suleiman, he stand, yes. he dies standing on his stick. And Suleiman, he have genie That's who die in the for him. That's in the all in the Quran, all in the Quran. And Suleiman, okay. and Suleiman, he have people who make a statues for him. Statues? Do you Muslims believe that statues is haram or, or, or it's, it's illegal? Who made a statue? Who made the statue? Suleiman did? Suleiman. I don't care what anybody else did. I'm asking Suleiman. Did Suleiman do it? Yes. Suleiman created a statue. Where does yes. it say that? Uh, in the hadith. The hadith. Which hadith? Sahih, Bukh hadith? Sahih Bukhari. Bukhari? I don't accept Bukhari. I said Shia. So this is a lie you are saying. I said I don't accept Bukhari. Okay, so but Rasul are you saying, Shia, are you saying, you know are you saying this is a lie? If it's not found in my books, it's a lie. Okay, so have you ever heard of Suleiman creating his statues? What if that? What if this is true? What you would do? Why do I care about the story? If it's not authentic, I don't care about it. Okay, this is in the Quran. It doesn't say statue in the Quran. You said hadith. When are you going to the Quran? Show me in the Quran where it says he made a statue. Chapter 34, verse number 13. 13. Hmm. And they, who's they? Who's they? They, who's they? Is that Suleiman? Suleiman's what, more than one person? Hmm. They made for him. Hmm. Made for him. Who's him? Hmm. Suleiman. Hmm. So Suleiman did not make it. Hmm. They made it. Who? So I asked, did who's Suleiman they? make the statue? Or who is somebody they? Else who make is the they? Who is if they? If Suleiman made it, I have a problem. If Suleiman did not, then I don't care. Uh, but they are making for Shift. Suleiman. They are building for him synagogue full of statues. If Suleiman didn't do it, why Why do I care? My friend, like, my friend, didn't do my, it, friend I, my friend, listen, you, you see how ignorant you are? Everybody is laughing. Allah, he subjugated the genie for Suleiman. They serve the him. And by his command, listen, this is our command. And yes. for them, we cause them. This is the command of Allah. He made the genie serve Suleiman. And he command them to build for him synagogue with the statues. Statues of what? Of people? Statues, yes. Statues of people. Of people. Of yes, people. yes, brother. Doesn't say statues of people, by the way. Okay, what interpretation would you like me to read for you? I mean, a statue is a statue. I can have a statue of, <laughs> of, of anything. Doesn't My friend, what, what interpretation would you like me to read for you? I just told you. 
Ilmi tafsir book that is a Shia tafsir book that is authentically attributed to one of the okay, Imams. Okay, for me, the Shia tafsir book, would you like me to read? Let me read, let me give you the list. Okay, hold on. Shia Everybody will book. laugh at you. I will, you know, the, the only reason I keep you on the line, by the way, because you're a comedian. I'm asking you. Any okay, Shia we have we have a prophecy. My friend, Sahih listen, listen, Hassan. okay, choose one, choose one, choose one, choose one. Choose al Qumri. Do you know al Qumri? Al -Qumri. Is it authentic? I'm asking you which one you like. Just choose one Does and I will open it for you. Which one? Which right. one? Go to al Qumri and then find the authentic one. Find it. So the, are you saying al -Qum, Qumri is a liar? What are you talking about? I'm asking you which interpretation you like me to read for you. To his book, that does not mean I'm asking lying. you what interpretation you like me to read for you. So when I you choose one, when you choose one, you have to agree with it. I want you to agree. I want you to authentic. I want okay. When you Muslim Shia, when you Muslim Shia, my friend, my friend, when when you when you Muslim Shia uh, make it a seer, you lie or you are authentic people. What do you mean? You, this is your, this is your scholars. When they make tafsir, are they liars or they are truthful? Your Islamic Shia scholars. Where do they make the tafsir from? Where, what's their reference? I don't care. This is your scholars. I'm asking you, you Shia. You said you don't care. When, but I'm, you don't know where yes, I'm asking you. When you Shia, you make interpretation. Are you lying yes. to each other or this is a truthful? If they, if the hadith is weak, then it's not lying. They just added it to their book. This is not the question. Lying. This is not the question. Are you lying? Or it is because how can you? My okay, own you, you, has you, no backing you are you are a kid who knows if the hadith is uh, weak or not. But the the scholar uh, who made this book. The okay, you this, show me that hadith. Scholar, the scholar, the Okay, it. okay. Listen, listen. Okay. Where's the, the hadith? scholars? The scholars. Okay, okay. Here we go. Why do you keep saying okay, scholars? Scholars are not masoom. Please stop saying scholars. 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 What's wrong with you? Show me Nabi. A second ago, you said to me that show me a Shirazi. A Shirazi is masoom. I, you said, <laughs> what does he say about it? I said, show me what he says about okay, it. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Let's go back to zero. Let's go back to I zero. I didn't say, okay. I trust it. Okay. I said, show me what he says about okay, it. I okay, okay. Let's yeah, go Bahrain. back to I zero. I never said that. Okay, listen. So Allah have time. Allah have time to talk about the flying carpet of Sulaiman. Fulan, 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 or Nabi Muhammad. Yes, it says here in the front Sahih of him, my or friend. Hassan. That's it. From any Shia -e tafsir book. My friend, it says show in the front of him. They are making this hadith, this so they are making for him statues and pictures, and those are the wish of Suleiman. Okay, and those are here. This is three out of seer, and those are pictures and which, images which book? Which of book? Malaika, the angels. That's and some of them they have Im Im statues of lions and animals in his chair. So angels and animals and chairs and even eagles, and this is a tafsir in front of me, a tusi, and he's a of Shia. Which which book of the tusi? Tafsir of tusi. Tafsir al Tabyan al Jami al Ulum al Quran al Imam al Tusi. And I'm showing you the interpretation in the screen in Arabic. Sahih Hassan, or I don't need to read that the, the hadith. Is it Hassan, <laughs> Sahih, or Daif? My friend, all of you Daif. All, Islam is Daif. Islam is a religion of Daif. You are Daif. Your prophet is Daif. Use so my look what you are saying to me. Look what you are saying to me. Show me it is you are saying to me. You cannot do that. Not everybody is my witness. You have no idea about. Okay. You are I don't the Bible. Everybody is my witness that you are saying to me that Islam cannot be trustworthy because we have a lot of garbage inside Those the books are my of words? Islam. Those are my words? Yes, you said that to me. I said, I, wallahi, I never said that one. Well, you just said to me, show me wallahi, one, one authentic. I never said that one. You, you keep saying to me, show me one authentic. So I said, show me an authentic one. Okay. He didn't do that. You show me a hadith, and I said, is it authentic? Is okay, it listen, listen. Okay, listen, 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 listen. I want you to show Please me authentic. Show me I want you to show me authentic explanation for this. Why do I have to show you? You're the one to mention the verse. You show me an authentic you, hadith. Don't you want to prove, you you prove me wrong? You are, you brought the proof against me. Well, I did. I did. I showed you. You said to me, "Show me authentic." This is show authentic. me authentic. You this didn't is do authentic. That. This is authentic. This is your scholars. Where is it say it? Who authenticated it? So, why are you call him a scholar if he's a donkey? Show me who authenticated. Why you are Tell calling? Me where it okay, says, are you willing to say? Listen, let me ask you. Are you willing to say a tosi is a donkey? And he's a liar. Are you willing to say that you don't know whether or not it's uh, authentic or not? No. You see, I don't. I, I believe everything in Islam is not authentic. I I'm talk, talking about according to my 
okay. حديد سير شيع حديد Do you know, okay. is a tabatai is fine for you? Is a tabatai fine for you? So you're going to a different tafsir book. You can't accept well, it. I don't know what to do. I'm just asking you which one is good for you. Give me one. Show me authentic. Okay. Me which one, one of you is which authentic. one of those names is authentic? We have a tabrasi, al qummi, al tusi, al tabatai. Those are uh, scholars. Asafi. The scholars. No problem. The scholars they explain according to who? Hadith. Okay. The scholars they explain the Quran according to who? To their prophet or to their your prophet? So you're not going to show me the hadith from the Imam, yeah? Where's the Imam explained? Read the hadith of the Imam. Okay, my friend, as long as you're asking for authentic hadith of the Imam, where we can find those authentic hadith of the Imam? So you're not going to say, you're not going to answer. I'm asking you, where can we, we can clarify? find? Which no, books? can we clarify you're not going to answer? Okay, yeah? I'm asking you. Uh, no, I will find it for you, but I'm asking you, which books we can find? So hold, you just said, you just admitted that you could not find I it, I yeah? said to you, I just said, where we can find. You could find, not find it, yeah? Where we can find the, uh, the authentic hadith which you accept of the Imams. Which okay. books? And you could not find one. How I will know because you refuse the books anything you, you say. You have to do research. Any Why book I say to you, you, you say no. Okay, can you give me the name of the book? I'm not going to give you one. You are bringing <laughs> it to me. You prove it. Why you don't you give me one it. book? Okay, why you don't give me a book you approve? I don't approve of any specific book except for the Quran. The hadith, what if the, the hadith heck? is authentic, what you fail to okay. show. The, the Quran says they make show, for him a statue. Then I'm not going to accept okay. the hadith. The Quran says they make for him a statue. So here we go, the Quran says that. And what is that? You mentioned, what is the tafsir? And you didn't give me an authentic hadith or a hasan hadith. You said you don't know. Okay. Did Allah... You're saying you want me to do it. My okay, let me ask. Okay, 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 okay. Listen, 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 listen. Okay. Uh, Allah, Allah, he ordered the genie to obey Sulaiman. Do you agree? What, what, yeah, why does it matter? Okay, he didn't, he didn't ordered, he didn't okay. okay, this is Quran in front of us. Uh, Suleiman, he ordered them to build synagogue and statues. Do you agree? Statues, what statues of what? You tell me what statues for. It doesn't, it's just a statues. The word statues, what statues? You tell me now, you don't know what statues. You see, how come when I say statues to you, what? how, how, I, I, how say come I say statue, to you, when I, 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 I listen, 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 the hypocrisy, what? listen, the, listen to the Shia. Yes. The only reason I'm I'm keeping you Shia because you are a Shia, Shia because you are a Shia, and everybody is dying laughing because usually we get Sunni. Today is is different comedy. Listen, isn't it you who said to you in the Hadith of Sahih al Bukhari? It says that uh, Suleiman he did synagogue. Uh, uh, he, he, the, the genie, they, they built for him statues. The Hadith of me? Bukhari. Bukhari is kazab. Okay. Uh, you see, you, you right away when I said to you statues, you did not say, tell me what the statues is. Right away you said, he's a liar. I don't accept it. Statues. He's a liar. You Show me where he did that. So now you are saying statues, statues does statues not mean statues. statues. Okay, what does statues mean? Statue hmm. is a carving of something. Okay, for something what? Statue. Something what? It doesn't mention statue of anything. It's a statue. Okay, something if what? You have no, the something. That, that something. Uh, uh, no, a statue is, is a carving oh, for something word. can be alive, like an animal or a human or something, right? It doesn't have to be alive. Who said that? <laughs> that a seer said that too. <laughs> Which have seen? And again, you still can't show me. Okay, okay. So let us go back to zero. Now I'm asking you. So let's reject that. Let's reject that you. Listen, find. listen. So your God, uh -huh. Allah, have time to tell us about synagogue built with statues. So the man is carried by the flying carpet. Suleiman, he speak to the birds. Suleiman, okay. Suleiman, he speak to the birds, but he speaks to the birds doesn't mean anything. Okay, and what mean? What mean anything? It's a miracle. I mean, I do believe. I mean, of course, you don't believe he's a prophet. I get that. You okay, you know, as, God, as, okay, as long you are, uh, uh, as long you are saying that. Uh, uh, you you believe uh, Suleiman was a mushrik who Allah, 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 okay, Allah, Allah, okay, Allah, 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 Allah. Do you agree that Allah he taught Suleiman the language of the birds? Yeah. Why does it matter? Yeah. All right. Okay, so as long as Allah he taught him the language of the birds, how he understand the language of the ants? How you're asking me how a person who is not me understood something that Allah revealed to him? Did Allah but reveal Allah, to him? No. Allah, uh, uh, how did Jesus my know friend, he was my God? Friend, my friend, if but God Allah, from Allah, Allah he said God. to him, Allah, he's, God, Allah, he's, God, Allah, God. Allah, he taught him only the language of the birds, did he? Does it say that? Yes. The only? Yes, it says only. That. Yeah. Where does it say only? It says in front of you. It says only. He's counting what he taught him. Does it say only? Can you show me? My the friend, word? he taught what what language he taught him. This is the language he taught him. The language of the birds. Yeah, I I, I agree. Okay. Yeah, he is me is the words. ants of the kind of the birds? Did he speak with him in the same language that he spoke with him the birds? But the but the ants don't speak. The ants don't speak. No, you don't. They are deaf. They are mute. They're mute, yes, but Allah can't do anything. Yeah, Allah is uh, Allah is so limited; He can't allow them to speak. Yeah. Oh, so only that—that's how you limit God. Okay, hold when on. You but say Allah can't do that. 
That's when you limit God. And My friend, you is it Allah is the one who created the ants already? He created the ants, but he can make them speak. Or do you deny that Allah can't do that? I'm asking or that you. Your God can't do that. Okay, if let, Allah let is the one, you believe Jesus could do that. If if, uh, if Allah, if Allah is the one who created the ants, should he knew that the ants don't talk? They communicate in different way. You're not miss. You're missing the point. I said. Are I'm you not, saying I'm not that missing, God I'm not missing the point. ants to speak? I'm not missing the point. Ants, they you, communicate. Can you answer that question? My friend, can God, my friend, whether it's your God how, or Allah, how, can he how, make No, speak? the ants don't. This is how this is Allah is God, supposedly, and he is the one who created the ant. So he gave them he the ability already. Speak. Okay. He can't make a speak. Allah, he, make Allah speak. he made the ant not. He made her mute. He created her mute, supposedly. So how and he, he can't make, make them speak. Okay. He can't. Is that because now we discover that ants don't talk? They communicate, but they don't talk and really speaking by voice. So Allah, He is being an ignorant now. So you just admitted that they can that they can communicate, yeah? They but communicate. What does it say that All the creatures they communicate, but here, but you see, Suleiman, he laughed at her speech. Who's Suleiman? When he heard her, he laughed at her speech. Who Bil Qais? Solomon, Solomon. He laughed at the you speech. You said he of heard her. Who's her? The ant. The ant. Okay. Uh, how he, how he heard the speech if they don't talk by voice? They make communication by vibration or by chemical. And Allah can't. I keep asking you. I'm going to ask you again. And Allah can't do that. Allah can't can make do an what? ant speak. Can do what? Speak. Allah can't make it, uh, something speak. Allah created the universe, but He can't make an ant well, change uh, nature. Or, yeah. Also, uh, only that ant, Allah, He changed the nature of it. You mean? What, why can't? He? Yeah. Why? What's uh, the problem? Do you believe Jesus can't do something? Okay. That, can that you show me authentic hadith? Before? Okay. Let us play this game then. Can you show me authentic hadith? Uh, uh, explain it the, the way you are giving it to me now. What are you talking about? You, I didn't explain anything. You just I said, said I'm you asking said, you. I you said, you just said to me, Allah, he made only said, this ant spoke. You, you, just, Allah you just said to me, Allah, Allah he made or no? You just according said to you, listen, according listen, to your God, listen, you can just, he make the ant speak or just, no? It's impossible for you. You just said, Allah, he made only that ant to speak. Does it say only? Because I didn't see that word in there. Well, you say, also, you just said to me, you just said to me, you said that to me, not Quran. I'm saying to I you. I said Allah hmm. can make the ant speak if he want uh, make the ant speak if he wants to. Okay, so is that I mean, asked you, is can that your mean, God do is the that same? Mean, Are you saying that okay. your God can't do what my God can? My friend, no problem. No, my God can do everything your God cannot. But, because, you, said, but you have a problem with my God doing it, yeah? But and you say it's funny because your God made an ant speak, which because can't he speak. made a mistake. But when your here, God does it, your, no problem. Your God, your God is being silly, you see. Being because, silly. Uh, yes, because, being silly. because Allah he forgot. Be listen, guys, Allah he forgot to tell us what is the punishment of rape, and there's nowhere in the Quran we can find it anywhere. But he, he have time. He but said. he have time he to tell us to tell us about the ant. She said that the ant and Suleiman he laughed at the ant speech. But you failed. <laughs> you failed to attribute to me. You failed to attribute to me what hmm. I believe. You said from the Quran. I said. If I were to bring you a hadith, would you accept it? And you said, no, let's go to the Quran. Okay, my, my friend, my Quran, friend. But you don't want to go to hadith. My, my, my friend, listen, Amir, I really enjoy talking to you and I want you to stay with me. I want to ask you a very simple thing. Why what? Allah have time to tell us about the bird, about the ants, about the flying carpet, but he did not mention anywhere the punishment of rape, which is very important for a human being. And which he clearly does mention it, just not in the Quran. Where? It mentioned in, not in the Quran. I just said it doesn't mention. In the okay, Quran. isn't it the Quran is the only book of God? No. <laughs> okay. No, Quran is not the only source of knowledge. All right. Okay. Shia do guys, not believe that. Guys, the Quran is not the only source of knowledge. The verse the we mentioned. Shia, okay. Do you want me to read our hadith? Oh, no problem. Listen, the listen. Shia, we say <coughs> Quran <coughs> Ahl al Bayt. I'm sure you know maybe that hadith. Mm. Quran Ahl al Bayt, mm. which means they are our two sources of knowledge, which means Nabi. Allah, Ahl al-Bayt, which are the 12 who is Ahl imams, including Fatima, who is of the 14 infallibles. Do you okay. know our ideology or you make are stuff you, up? Are you, you the, are you from the 12 imam believers? You don't know what Shia believe, yeah? Are you from the 12, are you from the 12 imam believers? I am from the 12 or ifna ashari Shia. Okay. I believe in the 14 infallibles as my only hujjah besides the Quran, which is the word of Allah. So do you, you believe what the Shia they teach, uh, those 12 imam? If the imam teaches something and it's authentically attributed to him, yes, I've accepted. Why? What's wrong? All right. You see, when I asked you what is books you agree with, you refuse to give me any book. I said, show me a hadith. I said, not all. Of, no, I said, not every hadith in one specific book is sahih so, or hasan. So now, if I show you any hadith, hadith okay. So now, if I show you any hadith, you will say I don't agree with it. Correct? 
If this you show me it's authentic, I'll agree with it. No, 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 no. Because now you are saying to me, there is no book of authentic. Not fully authentic, no. Only mm. the Quran is the fully authentic book. Okay, let me ask you. Is the rooster uh, is a Shia? The rooster? Yeah. Is that Hadith Sahih or is or you don't know? I don't know. You tell me. Is it Hasahi? You don't know. So why bring up the you don't know. You bring up Sunni Hadith. That's fine because you know they're authentic okay, according to them. But you don't want to bring up my okay, authenticity. Okay. Listen. 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 The so, Rooster Shiai. I don't know because you didn't show me the the Hadith with the authentic chain. Okay. There so you go. That's my I'm, answer. I'm, I don't know. I'm asking you now. How you you as a Shia now? If I give you a Hadith, how you will know that this is authentic? If you bring me the chain of narration, number one, which okay. means it's a triple uh, authentically attributed, whether it's Hassan or oh. it's authentic Sahih. Authentically attributed to one of the twelve Imams or the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi, or Fatima al Zahra alayhi salam, any of those fourteen that you bring this hadith from that is mm. authentically attributed to them and does not contradict the Quran, then I accept it. Does not contradict the Quran. Yes, that's our hadith mm. standards. Do you have a problem with our hadith standards now? So, are you a scholar now? This is what our scholars have said. Are you? I'm not. No, this is not my no, claim. I'm this saying, is what our scholars have said. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, this is what the Imam said. Okay. Forget about scholars. It's what the Imam said. Hmm. What is written? There's a there's a bird. There's a bird in the Quran. It's called Al Hudhud. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What about it? What is written in his uh, wings? You tell me. I thought you know the Hadith, the Sahih Hadith. I never said I know. I said bring me a hadith. If you have a hadith, bring okay. it to me. I'm not. Chapter I'm not scared of the hadith. Chapter, Show me hadith. Chapter twenty-seven, verse number twenty. What this verse is speaking about? Twenty-seven, twenty. Let's read. Let's mm. read. Mm. Here we have in, in twenty-seven, twenty, mm. and he took attendance of the birds and said, "Why do I not see thee, Upo?" Mm. Or it, in the the Arabic, I guess it says al mm. uh, al There you go, al mm. Yeah, al mm. hudhud. That's the name of the bird. Mm -hmm. Or is he among the absent? Yeah. Mm. So what about the bird? Why? Wh who is this uh, bird? It's a bird. What is it? Why the king? The guy. He's a king. He's a big king. He have a big army. Sulaiman al Yeah. Yeah. So why he is worried about a bird is missing? Who is this bird? Because. His bird serves him. Mm, what he's he the do? king. He's the leader. Let's make okay, sure all the what, what are do there. Okay, what does bird do to him? You said he served him. What do you do for him? Why Why are you asking me what? I'm, I didn't live that time. Like, the, the, you, what you just said, he served him. Did you not hear what you just said? Yeah, I, I, I heard. You, you said to me that he served him. And I said, yes, he okay. serves him. I agreed that I said he serves him. And okay. he said, how does he serve him? It doesn't mention in the Quran, hmm. so no, if, I, if I don't see that in the Quran, no, I can't no, in my own no, it mentioned. belief concerning something that's not mentioned no, in the Quran. It, no, it mentioned. It says what the what the the hudud does. Yeah, what 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 he does? Well, tell me. Go ahead. Where does it say? Where, show me what it says he does. No, no, you tell me. Don't you know what he does? I said I don't know. So you, you know the book of rape and the book of uh, uh, in the Old Testament from your Bible? But, yeah, I read it. But you don't. But you do not know what the hudud does in your Quran. You're bringing the proof against me. I brought <laughs> the Bible towards you. You don't bring so nothing. You bring we love. Okay. Here we my go. Hadith. This guy, he he, to this hadith. guy, he fly in the wind trying to find women for Suleiman. Does it say that in the Hadith? Yeah, and this is it says in the interpretation too. Which interpretation? It's a Shia interpretation. Is it authentic? And if you keep saying you don't know, then how can I accept that something? Okay, let me ask you. Know is is this is this bird Hudhud? Is he an Arab or he is not? It says hood, but it just gives his name. Okay, right. what the language does this bird, this bird speak? Why would I know? Allah what, knows. What is the language? Of, what is the Allah language? Of, what is the language of Sulaiman? Sulaiman was the language. Yeah, what is the language of Sulaiman? The original language of some of the language that he spoke. The language, the language of his people. What he speak? Hebrew. Okay, so why the bird in his in his winds? It's written in Aramaic. Suleiman also knew Aramaic, but he spoke Hebrew. Okay, but why the bird? Did deny that why? Suleiman only knew okay. one language? I never said that. Is it, said is it, it true? Is it true that every hudhud, every hupu or hupup, uh, his uh, in his wings is written the names of the prophet and his family? Where's the hadith? Is it authentic? I think so. No. If you don't show me it's authentic, how can I just take your word for it? That's not. Okay. We don't even do that with our but scholars. You, wanna, you just take somebody's but, word but for you, it. You have to show us but hadith. You wanna, you wanna be, but you want to bet you will say to me it's not authentic anyway if I show it to you. If you show me it's authentic, hmm. okay. why should I reject it? Okay, let's make a challenge. Can you show me that this is not authentic? This is Biharul Anwar. 
Why do I have to show you it's not authentic? You have to prove you have, it. You're using the proof against me. Prove okay, to me it's you authentic. Have to prove it. Here we go. Okay, it. here we go. Bihar al Anwar, value number Bihar al Anwar, is the hadith authentic? Yes. What is that? Alamat al Majlisi. What did you say about the hadith? Read it. What is Alamat al Majlisi? My friend, say Shaykh, about the hadith? So, show me where it says this is not authentic. You, you, come on, don't stop, stop being a We kid. don't have that concept. We do not okay. have. Show me where it's not authentic. Let, I, said, I want you to show me. Here we go. They are mentioning it, and this is a Sahih hadith. Where does it say Sahih? Okay, proof to me. It says in the front of you. This is why they're mentioning it. Hold on. Who authenticated? Who said it's Sahih? This is Bihar al Anwar. Do you know who's who? Bihar al Anwar. Do you know who wrote the book of Bihar al Anwar? Hadith and his Sahih Hadith. My friend, Show my me friend. which one's Sahih. Okay, I'm asking you. Can, do you have a proof that this is not Sahih? I don't have to prove it's not Sahih. You have to prove to me that it is Sahih. I just did. Here we go. This is your book. This is who your... authenticated it? You have an answer. Your scholar. Bihar al Anwar. Who is he? Who, who, do you even know who wrote Bihar al Anwar? Okay, listen, let me ask you. Okay. Is that. He was quoted from the book. You don't even know who wrote Listen, listen, listen. This, guys. You will not find one hadith I will quote for him. It is Sahih. Anything I say to him, it's he will... Show me Sahih. You keep saying, I, I, he won't let it be Sahih, but you never proved it is. Yeah, but whatever I say to you, you will say it's not Sahih. If I know, you read the hadith... My friend, I know what you I'm are... Just accept, everybody yes? is laughing. Everybody is laughing. Whatever I say to you, you will say it's not Sahih. This is the game. I never said it's not Sahih. Okay, you, you did. You, I said, you, show okay. me it's I, Sahih. I said to you it is Sahih. You said, no, it's not Sahih. Everybody saw said, that. Show me. Show me. You tell me it's not the same thing as you show me. It says there. It says that this is a correct hadith. Correct. And who, 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 who authenticated <laughs> You're a scholar. Who is he? You don't even know his name. Are you just going to say my scholar? <laughs> you have to be ignorant. Okay, to, listen, to listen, everybody. The book, everybody. To quote the hadith, uh, okay. to quote the authenticity, okay. and you don't okay. know who okay. authenticated Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Do you see, Let me do a little. Do you little see? Do you see the interpretation? For you. Do you the, see? The author of Bihar Anwar, mm. his name is Muhammad Baqir Al Majlisi. Is okay. he is, the one that authenticated is it? He, no. Is he a donkey? You're not answering my question. No. You 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 didn't know who the author was because no, 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 you no, 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 no. I said no because this is so not. You are, you're being this is not. On that aspect. This is not it's according to him. This is according to Ali. Who Ali? Yeah. Ali. You said Ali. Yes. Ali Ali Islam, he said it's authentic. Yes. Where does he say it's authentic? Because the hadith the is not the, 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 the hadith is not this guy. And the one it who is wrote recorded. It, and, you said and, it's recorded and the, the, and, the, and the one who wrote this book, book my friend. By Muhammad is, Baqir al Majlisi. Al -Majlisi and correct. you said it's authentic. Okay, but this is not according to him. It. But this is not according to him. Al Alam al Majlisi. He is not he saying wrote, he recorded the hadith. I said who yes. authenticated the hadith. This is coming, it, it shows to you the reference. You can see you show me authenticated hadith or you can't? Yes, you can't it says, here we go. It says in front of you, who is the one reporting this? This guy is just, he is reporting what what, what he heard from your imams. He is not the oh, one reporting the hadith. So if I say anything Suleyman from the imam, Suleyman ibn, ibn Jafar. Yeah? Who is Suleyman ibn Jafar? Who is Suleyman ibn Jafar? Who is the father of Ali? Who is the, do you, do you see the names? They are the one who said that. So this guy is copying what he heard from Ali. That from the Ali. hudhud, the hudhud in his, in his wings is written the names of uh, the family of the Prophet. Do you agree with that or no? So you bought a hadith. Okay, let me ask you. Chain. Okay, let yes. Me, let me ask you: Is the pig is the pig a chicken? Is the pig a chicken? Yes. Now you're going to show me a hadith where it says it's authentic that 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 that, that, that was the, the Imam said that. Well, I'm asking you: Is the pig a chicken? By logic, hmm. a chicken can be a pig if Allah allowed it, but by uh -huh. nature, meaning usually. A chick is not a, a chicken is not a pig by nature usually according to you as a Shia but Allah can alter it yes okay this is another question according to you as you a just Shia. said he's a pig a chicken I just answered you what do you mean no no I'm asking, I just said I'm asking, usually it cannot be unless Allah allows it to be I mean Allah can change it okay did Allah allow it or not is is that is is that is the pig a chicken is the chicken a pig where you get where is this mentioned the same, book. The same book. book the same book the same book the same hadith yeah yeah the same book the same book, hmm. so not even the same hadith. So you brought me authentic. According to your, according to according to Ali, huh? Ali Amiri Amiri Al Mu'minin Ali bin Abi Talib from Ali, the the Caliphate, may Allah uh, pray on him, says that uh, that 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 the chicken is kind of a flying pig. So did you hear what you just said? Yeah. Yeah. What you said. What, what, read it again. Read the hadith one more time. The chicken is a kind of a flying pig. Kind of, yeah. Mm. Is he a flying pig? Hold on, kind of, yeah. Yeah, is he a flying pig? So he's making comparison 
my friend. The, so the is, is, the he, is he one of the kind of pigs? You're, you're missing the hadith. I'm not. He didn't say the chicken is a pig. Did he say that? No, he said yes. a chicken is yes. kind of like a flying a kind of a pig. Is a kind of pigs. He's one kind of the pigs. And the hadith is sahih. Yes, it yeah? says he's a pig bird. He's a pig bird. Pig bird. Is the hadith sahih? Yes, it is. Here we go. We keep playing the you're game. You're reading sahih. the chain of narration, but you don't even know who the narrators <laughs> are. And you don't know if they're trustworthy. That's not authentic. You, you told me to show you the narration. I just showed you the narration. The narration. With the chain, and you prove. I that showed the you that. Okay, let me ask you. You can't prove the chain is authentic. Okay, listen, you listen. So you are asking me to Fulan prove to you that this. Listen to this. This guy. Okay, yeah, I don't know. Is Ali trustworthy you don't know. or not? You just admitted that you don't know. You're no, honest. I don't know oh, for sure because all Muslims know. are not trustworthy. Have you ever heard? Have you ever saw a Muslim is a trustworthy? Have you ever you yourself? Just lied and you said it's Sahih. You just said to me. Everybody heard you saying that Muslims are not trustworthy. You are saying that to you me. You just said. Okay, let, let me ask you. Is, you is the imam? Is, is the imam? You, is the narrator trustworthy? Listen, trust listen, you said you don't know. Is so the imam al majlisi Everybody laughing at you. Is an imam al majlisi Is he a trustworthy or is a scam? So what what reason are you saying he's not trustworthy? I'm asking you. You 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 because are the one because you, week, because you are the one who keeps saying. My friend, you are the one who keeps saying to me. This is not true. Prove to me that's a trustworthy. So, uh, obviously, you, you are saying to me that you this guy. You are saying to me, you. okay, you are saying to me this guy is a liar. Why he is saying Never this? Never said he was a liar. Never okay. said that. So, came out of my so mouth. when he say that, is he? Are you accusing him of lies? What did he? What did Muhammad Baqir al Majid say? What did he say? My friend, I don't care. I'm asking you. Are you accusing you this guy? Care. Okay. So what did the hadith? Are you accusing this guy to be a liar? Are they trustworthy? Are they Are you accusing this guy to be a liar? Just because no, I'm not. I don't believe he's a liar. He okay. weak hadith so why he is quoting this hadith if it's not true? Tell me where Muhammad Bakr al Majlisi in his book he said all the ha a hadith of authentic. Who where is, is this? Uh, say, here we go. You say, on, oh, hold on. Did he, he say there? Authentic, did, okay, he yeah? quote the hadith. Did he say that this hadith is not accepted? No. He didn't say anything. He 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 was not. He's not Bukhari. Bukhari. Hmm. He Bukhari. He hmm. wanted to collect authentic hadith. Hmm. Al Majlisi. He never said uh, all the hadith I'm collecting is authentic. He okay. said, I'm collecting hadith that I have heard. Okay. That's what my, he, that's, okay. that was his mentality. He's okay. My, hadith that okay, I've my, heard attributed to the imam. All right, my friend, my friend. As long you are the one saying that this is not what him saying, blah, 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 blah. Do you have any proof that he did not say, that, uh, uh, anyone he said that this hadith is wrong? Do you have any hadith saying that? You it, can't even prove it's right. So why I, should I have to prove I it's did. wrong? I just show it to you from your books. You, you, I just asked you who narrated it. You couldn't even listen to narrators. I so said to you, no, I said to you, you, I said to you, I asked you, are I, they truthful? You said, you I don't said even to know. you, I you said, you can't even prove it's, it's authentic if you don't know the narrators. I, and whether I, or not the no, truthful. I did. I said, Ali ibn Abi Talib is Ali ibn, Ali ibn Abi Talib. That's the that's they who that's who they quoted from. Well, I, they, next, the, next narrator, the, the rest of the names are there. Who are the rest of the names? Okay, here we go. Let's see. Here we go. Let me read, let me read for you. عن السيار رفع وقال ذكرت اللحمان عند أمير المؤمنين عن علي أبو طالب and then he says this is a kind of a big bird a سياري do you know so who are the narrators besides that narrated from Ali ibn Abi Talib it says there a سياري a سياري yeah who else I don't know you tell me the list this is what you he reported. One narrator. This is what he reported for me, my friend. This is what he reported. This guy. This is what he reported. He reported one person reported it. Nobody else reported it. Okay, I'm asking you. So, are you saying this guy? He is a stupid. He is reporting only one hadith. Nobody, nobody agree with it. If nobody agrees with it, then that seems like he's a liar. Don't okay. You think? Yeah. So, okay, I'm asking you now. So, is is this hadith agreed by Muslims or not? We agreed? Shia, we don't have the concept of khabar wahid, which means you do not accept a narration that only has one narrator. We don't accept that now. Okay, I'm asking you again. Which book we can find the hadith I which is a true? Any. You prove it's authentic, I'll accept. You prove it's Hassan, I'll, I'll okay, accept. Okay, listen, listen, listen. You don't. When I, I showed will you, not when, play your game. When I showed you, when I showed you, authentication. Yeah, when I showed you, own okay, authentication. Listen, listen. You have to prove it's authentic. Okay, listen. When I showed you that uh, uh, chapter 4, verse 24, you said this is a, a, cha a verse about the muta, correct? The muta, yes. Yes, what muta? Muta. What, what is muta? What, is, know muta? what muta means? What is muta? No, tell me. Muta. The word muta itself means mm. pleasure. Pleasure. What kind of pleasure? Pleasure. Usually refers to sexual pleasure. Okay. So what is this muta is about? Tell us about it. You are a Shia. Nikah. Nikah muta. Mm. 
usually focus mm. usually mm. focuses on a temporary marriage in which a man and a woman for a cer certain period of time now they can list any period of time it doesn't mm. have to be a how, short only a short period of time long, it can be any time how short can in which be? they are how temporarily short? married how as short soon as be? that time limit ends the, the entire the marriage is void which mm. means they can no longer have marital relations okay how short that is it, how short it can be it could be uh, our scholars say it could be as short as an hour short as what as some scholars some scholars say it could be as short as an hour if you wanted okay so uh, but it's mutual so, focus okay. on that it's so, mutual agreement between a man and a woman right. not you, rape you quote for me from the from the book of musas that for an occasion you said to me that if a man he lay down with the women he have to marry her correct and he cannot divorce that's what, her. The, that's what the verse says okay and he cannot divorce her forever now a he man, a man in Islam, have a choice. it says that, no, he cannot divorce her forever. He has to marry her, he cannot divorce her. Now, in Islam, you can rent a woman and you have to pay her a money, correct? Did you hear what you said? Rent. Yes. Does she have consent or no? Doesn't matter. No, no, absolutely wrong. Please Thank do you. not lie. Thank you. It okay. does matter. Okay, do guys, not okay. guys here, Muta still... is consensual. It is haram if it's not consensual. It's prostitution if it's not consensual. Thank you very much, guys. So if he it's just not said, consensual. Okay, okay, Did you hear what saying, I just said? Okay, no, no, no. I, actually, I just said that. I just said that because I, if I say if I say something, you will oppose me anyway. But I made you admit it now. Look, guys, Did you hear what women, I said? the women what agree. Did you just say, according so, to this guy, the women? Okay, I, I, okay, 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 okay. Haram and it's zina if it is not consensual. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the women she agree to pay her money to take off her panty for one hour. Agrees. Agrees. Hear what you just said. Agrees. Agrees. Okay. Agrees. And this is not fornication in Islam. No. Okay. Why is that? So you, the verse where it says the man lies with the woman—that's fornication, right? Hmm. I'm asking you. It says an unmarried man and an unmarried woman lay together, hmm. and he has to marry her forever. He cannot divorce her until he dies. Right. The woman has to suffer with some man who raped her. No, for he the did rest not. He did not. He did, no, no, he did not rape her. She laid down with him. Does not say she laid down. Please <laughs> no, do not ask me. Don't change the topic. The Bible, okay. So listen, listen, listen. So now, so now, so now. Uh, uh, nowhere okay. So we confirm. We confirm. Okay. Hold on, hold on. 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 So what we confirm? Listen. Please don't add your own text here for the verse. What we confirm that in the Bible, if a man he he use a woman, he cannot use a woman, and he will be punished. If a man has sex with a woman and has sex with her, he has to pay her father and marry her forever. Because nobody will marry her. Those are Jews. And women, she have to be virgin when she get married. Otherwise, she is a fornicator. So now, because he did have that to her, he have to pay her her dowry as if she is, you know, like normal. So you, marriage, make that, you make that fornication. And he cannot have he cannot have divorce with her ever. Now, you in make Islam, that fornication. in Islam, your sister you know, I, I, she I, I, can take you off her fornication. your sister she can take off her panty for ten dollars for one hour. That's what you said to me. <laughs> You gonna answer the question? Um, or I, no, you're not gonna answer. Okay, you're you gonna keep asking me you questions. See, you not see, answering see, questions. I mentioned I mentioned the Bible to show you to compare. If a man he wanna have fun with the if women, if a man, if a man he wanna have fun with the women, has sex with her, he cannot divorce her. Here, here, where is where is where is where is the dig where, dignity, where is the dignity where is the dignity of your sister? If she Where come the back to your home, of the Yahudia, listen, of listen, the listen. Women Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Every, everybody is laughing. Everybody is laughing. Everybody is laughing. Did did any of your family practice Muta? Most of my family are not even Shia or Muslim. Uh, so you are the only Shia. I am the only Shia. Okay. Uh, do you have a, a Shia? If you have a daughter and she came back to you and he, she have a guy with her. And if she, she wanted to commit Muta and, and she take him and she take him to the bedroom and she says he in Muta, in Muta, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Muta requires the parents' permission if she so if she's underage, so don't even if she's not if she's not of legal age to get married, then no. What is the legal age? Legal age as long as she go through puberty, just like just like it says in the Bible. Where it says so, that in the Quran. Where it says that in the Quran. In the Quran? Mm -hmm. All right. You want that from the Quran? Mm -hmm. Give me a sec. Mm -hmm. Versus puberty, yeah? Mm -hmm. Even though the Quran also corrects it as well. Mm -hmm. Imagine the Quran answered every single one of your no questions problem. when it comes to yeah, the, the woman, Quran. Yeah? The Quran answered every single of my question. Until now, you did not answer nothing. I said to you, where it says the punishment for rape. Hold on, hold on. You, it's just, not you, there. Just, you just cut me off. You didn't finish what I just said. Mm -hmm. I said the Quran mentions everything mm -hmm. concerning mm -hmm. how you how you are able to marry somebody mm -hmm. if they go through puberty or if they have yet to have their menstruation. Mm -hmm. You didn't let me finish. You right away cut off and said, oh, you mm -hmm. see the Quran answered every question. I never mm -hmm. said that, by mm -hmm. the way. 
I've mentioned further, I said on this specific topic, it does. Mm. The Bible does not at all. So that is something that God, I guess, according to you, he I'm forgot. Waiting for, I'm waiting for your answer. You're, 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 you're doing right? blah, blah now. I'm asking, you, I'm asking you, where in the Quran it says that the age of uh, of uh, women to marry from? Because you said to me something weird. You said to me that uh, uh, she had to have her puberty. Isn't it Muhammad, he married Aisha at the age of six? Can you prove that from our books, that, that he married her at that age? At so six? if I show you a hadith from the Shia books, aren't you going to say to me that says like, six? That says six? That says six? He is. Six, he, six, he, yes, he says six yes, years old. Yeah. Yes, he have intercourse with her at the age of six. Yeah. Does it say six? Does yes. it say six? Yeah. In Shia hadith. No, he married her. Bukhari, he mar say listen, listen, listen. That. Okay, listen, listen. Let's say Shia. Okay, okay, listen, listen. Uh, if now any hadith I will show you, you will say to me it's not authentic. Correct. If you can't prove it's authentic, I can't say it's authentic. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I'm asking you now. Okay, you can you show me? Something All right, let us, let us do this game. Let us do this game. Can you show me an authentic hadith saying the age of a child to marry in Islam? The age, there's no such thing as that. Okay, show me. What do you mean? Meaning, Allah says in the Quran, mm. I, I, will, I will have the verse for you right now, mm. that it says mm. when she hits puberty, that is the age of marriage. Where, where it says that? Show me. All right, you're going to have this. It is in Quran 65, mm. which is. Surah al talaq hmm. and we read in okay here we are hmm. it says here what verse what verse hold on let me um... verse number four right uh yes this is so about, no worries, this is about... Among you women. if you okay. doubt their periods is three months okay this is obviously this is regard to talaq but it also includes mentioning about marriage hmm. in general Mm. But it's mentioning that those are the one and the, and the ones who did not have their period And yet. for those who have not menstruated their period is three months. Mm. So if you doubt or No, they did not. What, you, what do you mean? They didn't have their period. They, they, they don't have their menstruation. You are divorcing them and yet they don't have menstruation. You, you don't know what menopause is, do you? Though? I'm asking you. So, I mean, I know you're not. I'm asking you're not you. Not I'm asking menstruate. you. Okay. Now, let us do menopause this again. Let, periods, us, let yes. us do the same game again. Which interpretation you accept for the Shia? To show it to you about this I is about marrying kids. Any what interpretation? Listen, 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 listen. You see, everybody's laughing at you. Which interpretation you accept to show you for you this? You keep word? saying which one, which one, which one. I don't say which, which, you know. Chapter you 65. Choose, chapter 65. Here we go. Even your Islamic website is not working. Nothing working in Islam. I'm asking you, which interpretation you accept for this verse? From we the Shia do not books. have one tafsir book. I know you think we only have one. We have multiple tafsir. My, my tafsir. friend, you have many. Use Can you give me Shia okay? Tafsir. Give me an authentic hadith from that Shia okay. tafsir. Okay, my friend, my friend, what's wrong with you? Tafsir. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what's wrong with you? Listen, listen. You see, I'm going with you. I'm just trying to help you. Okay, which interpretation you like me to I don't, read it doesn't from? Doesn't matter. Show me one. No, it doesn't matter. If I show you, you will say I don't agree. If, if you show me it's authentic, then I'll agree. That's the, that's the deal. But the the problem, you you, the problem, you the problem anything I show you, you will say not authentic. You are a Shia. Then show you are a me liar. it's authentic. <laughs> show me it's authentic and I'll agree. But you okay. can't do that. Who is the, okay. Keep calling hadith but, after hadith. How we will know it's authentic? authentic. authentic. Okay. You said, I don't know. Your Majesty. Said, I don't know. Your Majesty. Said, I don't know. Shia, Shia, Shia Taqiyya. How we will know which of your books is truthful and which if of your books? If you can prove it's authentic, then it's clear. I'm asking you. No, 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 no. Okay. Which Taqiyya, book? I'm doing Taqiyya. Okay, I'm okay, doing, okay. I need your help. Listen, listen. Listen, I give up. I want you to give me an authentic tafsir for this. You give me one. Why do I have to give you one? I'm not the one. Because whatever I give you, you refuse. You're asking me the question. Whatever I give me. you, whatever I give you, you refuse. Then show me it's authentic. I can't, I can't accept something that's not authentic. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not authentic, how can I accept it? <laughs> if I give you a, if I give you a Christian tafsir, listen, a listen, Christian interpretation okay. so, of a okay. scholar that you don't accept, my, my friend, my friend, no, I accept. I have a challenge for you. Give me, give me a link. I will post it. I will show it in the screen of any Shia interpretation for this verse and whatever it says. I agree. From you now, you agree. Yeah, I agree. From now. Even if it's not authentic, yeah. No, this is your business. You, you tell me it's authentic. Give me authentic. Don't give me not authentic. But you, you, you brought me a million and a half a hadith. I'm asking you. Tafsir, I'm asking you. Tafsir, I'm asking you. Tafsir, but not a single you, one you showed me was authentic. Not a single you, one. Can you admit you, that? Yes. Please, can you please? Can you please? Do you admit that? Can you please give me one hadith? I'm asking you a question. Okay. I will. I will. Inshallah. I will look up later. But when, can you right now? Why not? Since right now. Why not now? Why not now? Are you going to admit? 
Are you going to admit that you cannot show me one hadith that was authentic from my books that you quoted from? My, you friend, show my friend, your books is a piece of garbage. Nothing of You authentic couldn't show it authentic there. according and to And you, you prove that to me. You just say it to me. You just say it to me. You could not show me one authentic hadith in my you books. You could not. You could not. You, you didn't could prove not. authentic. That's mean it's impossible to show a Muslim shit no. an authentic if an cannot do it. My friend, not a Muslim cannot do it. And you and you were not able to do the same too because you said to me, Oh uh, show me, show me, show me. But I ask you, can you show me the hadith? I just said to you, can, can you show me any authentic for anything you agree with? You keep I'm saying, saying to me you could not. I'm not saying you cannot, get saying lost. you could not. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I kept him just for comedy. <laughs> Anything you show him is not authentic. Anything, my friend. It doesn't matter what you show him. It's not authentic. Show me authentic. This is Shia. And the reason I accept him to talk for this long, because he's a Shia. Shia are very deceiving people. Do you see how they play games? And he just agreed that if his daughter or sister, she is hired for $10, she will take off her panty, even for one hour. And this is not fornication. So he's upset in the Bible. It says if a man, he lay down with a woman, he have to marry her and he cannot divorce her ever. But he is not ashamed of a prophet and God who is teaching that a man, he can lay down with the women for one hour in conditions which is have to be limited time. They have to agree for how long. And they have to agree in the payment. And when the time is up, the sexual contract is over. Actually, let me show you a Shia website explaining this. Hold on. Isn't it amazing how those people, how they play? Let us see. <clears throat> the only reason I kept him because he's a Shia. Uh, there's a Shia hadith. Uh, I mean, Shia website. I'm trying to find actually. Um, Here we go. This is a Shia website. Let us put it for you in the screen. Muta is not marriage, even though they are saying here it's marriage. But look carefully what it says. This is a Shia website. In some work, a special term is applied to women who participate in muta, musta'ajara, rented women in Islam, she's rented women, or rented women for muta. Muta is considered as a kind of rental because in general, a man, basic aim of this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of the women and in return of his enjoyment women receive certain amount of property that is islam my friend i accepted to speak to this kid all those this time just to show you how they play games endless the bible never approve rape the punishment of rape is death if a man he want to use a woman and sleep with her and then let her go, he cannot do that. He have to marry her and he cannot divorce her forever, and he have to pay her dowry as if she is still a virgin. In Islam, your daughter she can rent herself, and this is not my words. And here we go. This is the website. I will post it for you in the chat. This is their scholars, this is their article, 
This is their interpretation. This is their explanation. So we have a God, and we have uh, Mr. Amir, who is a Shia. He agree that his daughter, he said if she is, she have her period. If she have her period. Hmm? She can rent herself. And now we're asking, where do you get this period thing? Because Quran says you can divorce children. You know? What kind of religion this religion is? But again, we let them stay and talk and talk and talk and play the game of a flying like monkeys from a branch to a branch just to show you. Sometimes I have to lower myself to go to their standard. I'm not insulting him, by the way. I feel sorry for him. But I have to go and be patient with him so we can get more, more juice, let us say. We squeeze Islam, and this is the juice of Islam. Not a single verse in Quran speaking against rape. Never even mentioned. Because Muslim, they were raving. And we have an ethical God who agree that women, she can take off her panty for one hour. And we heard him saying, even it's for one hour. Isn't this a prostitution? What is a prostitution? You pay a woman money. And she agree to do sexual business for you for a period of time. <laughs> this is exactly what prostitution is about. And the funny, the Muslim, they call this marriage. That's why I say in Islam there is no marriage. Actually, the word there is nikah, which is the F word. The word zawaj in Arabic is the word for marriage, zawaj, not nikah. Nikah is the boom, boom. So a woman, she can do nikah of muta, which means she can hire a man. Sorry, a man, he can hire her. And when the time is up, there's no divorce. There's no divorce, you believe it? There's no divorce. In this kind of contract, he will not divorce her. Because as you see, she is rented. Like when you, uh, are you going to divorce your rental car? No, no, you ride the car. And then one hour, the car is not yours no more. You open the door, you get out. Your ride is over. Uh, Syria grammar. Okay, well, who's holding him to call me? Call me, my friend. Mr. Grammar. I cannot wait. I asked you from a long time to call me. <clears throat> hmm? I mean, I'm asking you all this time. Okay, we have a we have a, our friend here. <coughs> you have a question? So I'm ask him. Maybe he's not there. He asked me. He he's a, he, he left Islam, but. Call me if you, uh, you know, I called you, you did not answer. Now, who in the world believe that this is a God of ethic? Guys, is there, there is a, like a bad sound in the mic, or this is from my side. Let me see here. Maybe it's from my side. <coughs> one, two, one, two. Maybe now it's fixed. Okay. Because I was having like a like kind of vibration in the microphone. What kind of religion teach such a teaching and here you see there's a formula for this kind of sexual contract there is a declaration you go to the woman you say to her I want to have sex with you for one hour she say how much you pay and then if she agree and repeat after you I agree for let's say ten dollars for one hour that's mean we are good to do it. That's it. And then when the one hour is over, this contract is over. <coughs> Hello. Yes, my friend, how are you? 
I'm good. Thank you. Remember me? Uh, you left Islam here, life on air, right? Yes, yes. All right. Uh, you, you, you told me to read the four angel. Correct. Okay. And I read them, and um, I am ready to accept Christ. But um, I've got a few questions that I want to ask you. Sure, no problem. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, regarding baptism, like, how do I go about it? And which, you know, if I want to join a church, which church do I have to join? Well, you know, before you go to any church, because there's, you know, uh, you know, Christianity is a big faith. I mean, we have more than three billion. So it's not just a guy who opened a door. He says, "Call a church." You need to ask them yeah. questions. You know, uh, talk, uh, sit with the the church uh, minister. Tell him, uh, "Do you believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? Are you? Uh, do they believe in the Trinity? They believe in the crucifixion of Jesus. Do they believe that uh, He's coming back? They believe in the resurrection. Uh, they believe that uh, Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit." Uh, you know, I mean, the major, the, the, the things which is important, and I ask him a very specific question What do you think of Islam? Okay. If, he, if he did not give you a clear answer, that's mean this guy is a hypocrite and his church is a church of hypocrisy. What, what if he feels offended by no, the question? No, no, I'm a, you have to ask because why not? Why he offended? Ask me about Islam, I will tell you. If you say Islam is false, Muhammad is a false prophet, that's mean this man is being truthful. If he starts saying we love everybody, okay, but this is not the question. I'm not, we're sure for we love Muslims. We love Muslims. I'm not asking you if you love Muslims or not. What do you think about Islam? So what I, what I'm saying to you, try to ask the minister a, a direct question, because that will tell you if he is a hypocrite man doing a business, he's a politically correct, or he's a man of God. Man okay. of God is not uh, is not politically correct. You know what I mean, uh, my friend? Yeah. He say things as it is. Those who they are politically correct. They are false. They are no Christians. Okay, so find someone genuine. You have to find, and you need to ask those questions. Like, uh, what do you think about being a gay, as an example? If he starts saying, eh, don't answer because he's avoiding to answer, you know, that's mean he's a false yeah. person. Well, the Bible says gays is wrong. That's it. It's a sin. It's a okay. against God. So those questions will tell you what, what kind of a person you are dealing with. So real people, they will say real teaching as it is, as it is. This is what the Bible says, I believe. Either I'm a believer or I'm not a believer. But you know what I mean? Yeah. Otherwise, it would be like this Muslim guy who called us trying to avoid anything. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah. And so if I go if I go to a church service on a Sunday, um, is that when like Christians gather and all? Well, Sunday is a is a time for prayer. But my friend, uh, uh, before you go to any church, I say to you, try to meet with the uh, uh, leaders of the church. Try okay. to understand what they believe. I mean, most of them, they have a website. Read. Uh, they say we believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, because there is some. There is some. They call themselves a Christian, but they are not. Like you know, there's Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, there's yeah. Mormon. There's you know, there's many cults. So we don't want to like we we, we you you. We saved you from the cult of Islam, but we don't want you to be trapped in different cult. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, true. Yeah. So you need this. Is why you need to ask questions before you speak to a person, and then uh, what, what, you can tell me in the chat where you live. Maybe I can send you. I'll find you a church where you live. Yeah, sure. Do you, do you live uh, in the USA? No, I don't live in the USA. Hmm. Okay. Well, it, it, later you can tell me. Maybe I can find something yeah. trustworthy. Um, <laughs> Yeah, sure. And then, and then, once I decide on the church, and once I'm happy with that, then um, the next step would be to get baptized, ba baptism, right? Yes. <clears throat> okay. And then, basically, that's the whole process. No, but you see, it's not about just to, because before you get baptism, they will not just accept to baptize you right away. They will ask you questions to be sure that you understand what you believe in about Jesus. Who is Jesus okay. for you? It's not, we know we are not Muslims. Like you say, Shahada and Alhamdulillah, and that's it. You need to understand what you believe in. You need to understand who's your God. So they will ask you questions about your faith. And then if they find that you are still not, you know, your faith is not mature to be to be Christians, which means you have a wrong understanding or something not right, then they will not do baptism until really truly you understand what Christianity is about. So mostly, most of the churches, they will not do baptism to you right away. They will take their time, you know, yeah, uh, they will meet with you for your time to and uh, have a discussion with you. It's not like an they, nobody is a question in your dignity. I hope you don't take me wrong. You know, we are yeah, just yeah, a question if you understand what you are going to agree with. You know, 
Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. And then when you okay. reach that point, they can set up a date for you to do baptism. <clears throat> okay, and yeah, of course. All right, yeah, that's what I wanted to ask. But my friend, the day you accept your Christ, you are a Christian. The baptism is to confirm and to announce it. So if you accept a Christ now, you can say, I accept a Christ. Yeah, yeah. Well, I did after reading the fourth angel. Um, I, I was I was amazed at the wisdom of um, Jesus and everything that he taught. Beautiful, my friend. Um, and also, yeah, I just try to pray. Um, because I, I I don't really know how to pray. That's why I need to join a church so I can you know I can learn uh, more. Let me stuff. teach you how to pray, my friend. There's nothing called how to pray in Christianity. There's nothing called how to pray because a prayer. So you don't have to recite chapters or anything. No, no, like no, that. no, no. Your prayer is something communication between you and God. Say whatever you want. Don't. Just don't pray for evil. Don't wish evil. Don't be evil. Pray with good heart. Pray for everybody. You know, even if you pray, like don't pray for the death of enemies, like what Muslims do. May Allah kill the Christians. May Allah kill the Jews. We don't do that. So you pray with good heart, and you say whatever you want. For sure, God, a word of love and respect, and then you ask God for help. <clears throat> that is a prayer. Anything else is not. You know, we don't have something to repeat. Now they ask Jesus in the Bible how to pray. They said to him to how to pray because they don't know really i mean okay so what we will say uh, how we how we talk so uh, uh when jesus he said that to them uh mm -hmm. he is not really saying to them repeat this prayer he is telling them the concept of the prayer like yeah forgive forgive to forgive others us. yes for forgive to others the same as you forgive to us uh, uh like you know asking for forgiveness uh, be forgiving yourself give so you will be given you know forgive so you will yeah. be forgiven so it's not really about you pray like this only it's about you pray and this is the concept this is that this is what is the logic of the prayer you know you glorify the father our lord and then you confirm that you believe in him and his kingdom and he is the one is the lord of all and then wish to you know to pray for the good of you now you can say that in the words of your own, not necessarily in the words as Jesus said. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. And um, also, do you know any YouTube channels that you recommend that I can um, watch? Yeah, there's like? uh, mm -hmm. there's uh, Sam Shamoon channel. Maybe somebody can post it in the. In the Sam, Sam what? Sam Shamoon. Okay, okay, um, okay. Just this one. Do you know any other ones that I can go to and learn more? Um, you see, there's many names actually, but Sam Shamun is more than enough. He's like a walking library. Yeah, well, you can text me um, on Skype, you know, if you remember other ones. No problem. And there is, uh, you know, a, a man. Now, I, like you see, there is many, 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 but 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 the problem yeah. is, some of us have patience and some of us we don't. <laughs> like Sam Shamun yeah. is a wonderful brother, but you don't have too much patience. Like if this guy. Is is speaking to Sam Shamun? Sam Shamun, he will he will hit his head in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he will jump from the sixth floor yeah. a long time ago. So Sam Shamun is a very wonderful brother. He have a great knowledge, but he have not too much patience. So you have to be careful with him. Yeah, I'll try not. He's not to a bad person. No, absolutely. He's a very, because he have a good heart. Actually, most of people who get upset so fast, they have a very good heart. You know, they have good yeah. heart. And uh, uh, because of their heart, they cannot take it. Like why nobody done this? Why why people why why I need to repeat myself? So uh, not everybody have uh, the, the the ability to have really a lot of patience. And even me, I, you know, I lose sometimes my patience. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's all I wanted to ask. Yeah. Somebody is mentioned uh, Ravi Zacharias. Ravi Zacharias. I remember. Ravi Zacharias. Yeah, yeah, I've right heard now. about it. Yeah, I've heard about it. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll go to his channel and watch videos of him as well. Yeah. You can search, search uh, people that are posting in text the name of uh, Sam Shamoon uh, channel, and you can go there. And yeah, actually, okay. I, I will search for his name. And yeah, there's David Wood, but uh, I believe Sam Shamoon is way better in explaining the, uh, yeah, the, Bible. the Bible. Yeah. All right, my friend. So I'm happy yeah. for you that you accepted the Messiah as your savior. Yeah, and thank you so much for the help. That's a good news. Thank you, my yeah, friend. and yeah, for the Muslims listening, I would like to tell them to you know to listen and um, to listen to what you're saying and double check everything and go back, you know, and you know read on and stop stop just denying things. If 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 it's written in the Hadith or in the Quran, then that's what it is. You know, denying it denying it, it won't help you because it's about your salvation. You 
at the end of the day, you're fooling yourself if you're denying something that is so clear. Yeah. Well, thank you, yeah. my friend, for your call. And I'm right. happy for Thank you so much Take care. for your help. God bless. Bye -bye. I have delivery. Hold on, guys. <sighs> All right, this was a real Jibril. Well, we are happy for this gentleman. I remember him, you know, I asked him to accept Christ before. He said he cannot just do that. He have to go and read and etc. Here we go. And he came back and he called us. And he decided to accept the Messiah. Now, where is the guy who want to teach us a grammar in Arabic? What happened to him? I did not forget about you. I want you to call me. Where are you, my friend? Even though I'm speaking for long now, losing my voice. Are you there, the guy who wanna call me? He said to me, I want you to read this. What happened to him? Hello? Yeah, the grammar guy, what happened to him? What you get delivery? Versions. Versions, they wanna do what I. What your prophet get delivery as long as you know how to read? How come your prophet do not know how to read and you are a grammar guy? How a prophet how a prophet is going to teach us how to read, but he do not know how to read? Have you ever heard of a, of a teacher is hired in a school, but he do not know how to write, how to read? And your prophet is teaching us that we can rent women? The grammar, did you rent any women before? Be honest with me. It's, still, it's okay, I'm like your grandfather. But not from Muta, I mean. Hmm? Are you there, Mr. Grammar? And why you are not calling me until now? Don't you want me to read that word for you? And many other words? What happened? Renting women, do you people have a shame? Do you people have a shame? Why we have only 1.2 like? Only 1.2 like? We are talking about renting. Uh, come on, this is very interesting. This is God. So you are upset. And look what he said, this guy. He said that Moses, he said, go and attack them and kill them and then rape their women. Doesn't say anywhere, rape their women. They enslaved them the same as the, the Jews. They've been enslaved. But we showed you how Muhammad teaching raping women. And not a single place in the whole Quran speaking about or against rape. Actually, marriage in Islam is a rape. Even marriage in Islam is a rape because rape is not only having sex with a woman she is not your wife. If she is your wife and you force her into bed, that is a rape. And the Quran says it clearly, you can beat them to, to obey you. So a woman, she don't want to sleep with you, you can beat her. Actually, the story about this uh, beating women, it was about rape. If you go in the, in the Sahih Hadith, <clears throat> what, what? Hold on. I'm trying to read what this Ab Abdul is saying. <clears throat> Where is Mr. Justice? He said something. I want to read it. This text jumped like crazy. It's hard to follow up with it. Okay. Let us put it in the screen. CP, when Allah is a teacher, he can make an illiterate man the greatest ever scholar. Okay. Well, the greatest ever scholar says you can lie to your wife and you can beat your wife. And you can rent a woman for one night stand or one hour. <laughs> what kind of... And the literate teacher, he says, that sun sit in the murky water. This is what happened when a miracle of Allah happened. Here we go. This is a miracle of Allah, guys. Allah, he made 
illiterate man speak and be a teacher okay then here we go he's teaching do you see his teaching so do you agree with that mr justice do you agree with this the greatest teacher ever believed that the sun set in the murky water in a muddy hot water are you there mr justice are you there I'm really, really convinced that Muhammad is a teacher. That's it. The greatest teacher ever. Not only a teacher. Hmm? Just saying you accept Christ does not make you a Christian. Not saying, you know, just believing. If you believe in Christ, it make you a Christian if you believe Jesus says whoever believe in me and I will live and believe in here it's something you believe in that's something you say so who is the Muslim want to say to me how Allah Prophet became what is the grammar guy what's happening to him where is this guy he wanted me to read Arabic the Muslim they make a video saying that Christian Prince you do not know how to read and supposedly a guy in the chat room he asked me how to read a verse and the, the guy in the in the in the video is the one is lying saying oh, he says this I did not say that <laughs> and I made a video about it they cannot be decent ever and look today anything I show to this guy show me this uh, authentic hadith show me one authentic. you cannot show him an authentic hadith because he's saying to us we Muslims we lie you, you, you know what that mean Anything you show him, he says, show me authentic hadith. So how we can trust Islam? Can you show me an authentic Quran? And by the way, even the Shia agree that the Quran is corrupt. There's a there's a sheikh. Let me find you his name. He's a Shia. He has tons of videos about the Quran is corrupt. Tons. Not one, not two, not five. <clears throat> what his name was? Uh, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. You know, I forgot his name. The the Sheikh is a Shia Sheikh. Because the Shia they believe that the real Quran <clears throat> was taken with uh, uh, Al Imam, the one who disappeared, Al Mahdi. He took the real Quran with him. The Quran we have today is not the real Quran. The Quran he took him with him is the Quran of Fatima. Uh, in I cannot remember his name. <clears throat> Hold on, I, I I found a other way. There we go. Yasser Al Habib. If you go to the to the channel of this guy, and he is a Shia Sheikh. You see him? He is a Shia Sheikh. He have a TV station, you know. So go to his channel. And actually, let me let me do the search right now, as long as I remember the name. <clears throat> Quran. All right. <clears throat> I'm trying to find you the uh, 
the videos. All right. Don't tell me they took. OK, here we go. If you go, here we go. Search for this video, how Islam was corrupted. How Islam was corrupted. And there's many Islamic books, Shias, speaking about how the Quran, the true Quran, where the true Quran now, etc. You know, this is the Shia. However, by the way, I can find you from the Muslim Sunni books, tons of hadith speaking about the Quran being destroyed and corrupted. Do we have any Muslim? No, his name is Yasser al-Habib. Yasser al-Habib. All right. Sunni is the same. My friend, Sunni and Shia is the same, you know, like two faces of one coin. Both they practice taqiyya. For those who do not know what taqiyya is, taqiyya is we can lie as long as we are defending Islam. They can lie as much as they wish. It's not a sin in Islam to lie. All right? <clears throat> this is a very, very... Uh, this is the, this is from the Quran too. This is not just uh, the the word taqiyya appear in the Quran. So the Quran teach them that you can speak to non-Muslims, say to them anything, as long you don't mean it, it. You are fine. And let me show you the proofs. Here we go. I will use interpretation accepted by the Shia and the Sunni. This is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet. This is a chapter three, verse number twenty-eight. As you see in the screen thank God that the website is working now uh, finally this is owned by the king of Jordan who claimed that he is from the family of Muhammad a Muslim he cannot take you as a friend never otherwise he is not a Muslim so if a Muslim he is sincere to take an unbeliever as a friend he who do that he has no connection with Allah. He has no honor, which means Muslims, they can attack him. No mercy or protection. They can rape his wife. They can kidnap him. They can kill him. Unless, yet is to guard yourself against them. Save yourself from them. Talking as it is, wear security. Saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart is like this. Do you see it? This is Islam, my friend. Who won the reference? Here we go. A grammar hinter here when I talk to me. Okay, where? <coughs> this guy? Where which which guy? I don't see him. There's a grammar hinter. Where? I have nobody contacted me in Skype. And if he can, if he contact me, he can call me. But I don't see any text from him. Okay, here we go. Well, for some reason, when I click at the text you send me, it doesn't work. Maybe he is blocked from before. Maybe he's one of the kids we blocked before. Because when we click at his name, can you send me the, the chat? Just, that's, I mean, that's just the nickname here, alone. Let me search here. Shafiq. Mm. 
Bill Bill. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I think this kid is a, is a block from before, so he's a joker. But anyway, let me go to the ref preference and, and block him because uh, we just want to have more fun. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Shafiq, Shafiq. Trying to find his name. <clears throat> Shafiq. Here we go. All right, Mr. Shafiq, are you ready? Here we go. <coughs> Call declined. What happened? Why you are declining the call? He declined again. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mr. Shafiq. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. How are you? I'm ready. So, um, who is uh, Al La, like you, you said previously? Do you speak Arabic? Hello? No, 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 I didn't decline. Huh? No, no, I didn't decline. No, no, I said, do you speak Arabic? Mute YouTube, mute YouTube. Listen to me from Skype. Hello? Hello? Are you there? <laughs> Hello? Yes, my friend. So... Hello? Yeah, do you speak Arabic? Do you speak Arabic? I'm on the Arabic now. You speak Arabic? No, no, no. Okay, speak Arabic to me. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Speak. Can Arabic. you hear me? Wait a second. Wait a second. No, no. Speak Arabic to me. I want to hear you speaking Arabic. I want to learn from you. Go ahead. Wait a second. Wait. Let me fix my uh, my mic. No, no. Your, your mic, your, no, your mic is fine. I hear you very well. You said no, no. No, no. I can't hear you. My. Uh, no, no, no. You don't speak Arabic. Wait a I, I think you are. You are. Wait, wait a, you don't speak Arabic. Tala, tala. Okay, speak Arabic. Wait a second. Speak Arabic. Wait, really? Speak Arabic. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Can you say to me those what you said to me in Arabic? Can you hear me? Can you say? It yeah. Uh, so who's tell no, me who's can you say? Who's, can you say? Uh, can you say? Wait, wait a second. Who's, hold on. Who's, no, no. Wait a second. Why you? Who's why, Allah? Why you are? You, why you are calling you yourself? Allah. Allah. You are, Allah so your it, name is Arabic. Allah Allah, is but a you don't know. But you don't know. Al Illa. Hmm. So, you, so you don't speak Arabic. So you don't speak Arabic. Why is Al Illa? Why you? Why you? Why you? Why you are lying? Why you say? No. No. What's the point of talking in Arabic? They don't speak so Arabic. So you don't speak Arabic. So okay. how are you asking me to read the, this? Uh, well, you don't speak Arabic. Well, you don't speak Arabic. Well, you don't speak you don't speak Arabic. Well, you don't speak Arabic. Well, you don't speak Arabic. Okay, listen. I want you to read for me. Why? Why do you want to speak in Arabic? Because you are speak asking English, me. Speak in English, so they because understand. And let me explain you, brother. Because you don't speak Arabic. You don't speak Arabic. You said, Lilla. Okay. Lilla. Li is harfujar. Okay. Li is harfujar. Do you understand? Okay. Harfujar is a majroor. Okay. Lilla. And then you have an illusion. Okay, and who, is, for them. and who is La? Hat for Ali. Do, do you understand? Li? It's a title. It's not a name. It's like Allah in Aramaic. Allah ah, ha. So, Allah ha. Okay, so, ah, 
So what, the, okay, 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 okay. So, okay, so, so you are saying, okay, so you are saying, so okay, 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 okay hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay, don't scream. You're making that. Okay, don't, 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 don't scream. Don't scream. Don't scream. Don't scream. Okay, one moment. No, no, no. So, Lee, 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 Lee is, a, is, is a letter mean too. Okay. La is La is a title or, or La is Allah is a title or a name? Allah is a title. It's it means Al Ilah. It's not a name. Al okay. So what is the name of your God? So so what Alif, is so what is the, what is the name, my friend? Put the what, together, it becomes Allah. What is even the, listen, even even we cannot keep uh, screaming. Uh, you know, we need we need to have a conversation, my friend. Otherwise, you will force me to hang up on you. I'm, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. What is the name of Yohan. What is do the, you know? You had what, you know what is the name of your God? What is the name of your God? My friend, this is not. This is not. I'm asking you. What is the what is the name of your God? My friend, do you know the name of your God? Al Ilah. It's a title. It's not a name. So what's the name of your God? Not a name. So this in your mind. Okay. What is the name? Okay. What is the name of your God? Listen to me. When Moses, this is not a question. I'm asking you. What is the name of your God, my friend, my friend? Okay. Do your God? Okay. I want you to answer me. Listen. Don't force me to hang up on you. I lost my voice screaming. I'm asking you. Hear me. I can hear you. Listen, listen. Listen to me. We cannot talk in the same time. Okay, can you make can you make it short? No problem, no problem, no problem. What is the name of your God? What is what is the name of your God? And while you're Muslim, you say okay, here we go. This is a Muslim, this is the Muslim website, Abdul. This is a Muslim website. Are you going to ask me to hang up on you? Are you asking me? Are you, God came to are you asking me to hang up on you? Are you asking me? We can uh, talk at the same time. Have a breathe, 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 breathe. Give me a break. Give me a break. We, you, Do you speak? Listen, bro? I'm asking you, what is the name of your God? What is the name of uh, your God? Do you understand Hebrew? No, I don't understand. No, I understand. No, no, I'm asking you. You are the one who will teach me. What is the name of your God? What is the name of your God? The last time I will ask sure. you, I will not scream more. Do you know the name of your God? Shut up and get lost. You see, this is why I block you. Because you are a talking machine. You are afraid to let me talk. This is the whole point. You don't want me to talk. Allah, the unique name of God. This is what your Muslim article is. And I can show you tons of websites saying that. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, hi, Christian friends. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to interfere in this. I didn't want to talk. Really, I've been, uh, you know, listening to the, these people. They, uh, I don't know. Uh, they don't have logic. They, they don't know Arabic. This guy. Last one who called, he doesn't speak Arabic, he doesn't know Arabic, he's not Arab. Okay, I don't know what was his name, whatever his name is, a potato. Anyway, so my friend, are you an ex Muslim? <sighs> I'm not Muslim, I never been. Okay, so, okay, okay, my friend, but but, but, but uh, I say all I you want you only for one reason. To... Only one, one, no, no, I know or? it's uh, only mus Muslims, okay. But I'm a, uh, I'm from a Muslim uh, background, okay. All right, I called just to explain one thing these people they just defend something uh, they believed in, or they somehow went in and they don't know how to get out they 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 think they should defend it without knowing why this is wrong come on the she guy i i lived in iran 10 years okay my friend my friend uh, 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 just i want to apologize from you i cannot continue with you because we want muslims to call us and we want to debate the muslims guys listen to the carefully so this guy he says the word uh, uh, Allah is not it's just a title 
and he is saying that he is asking me in the Bible what it says Elohim have nothing to do with Allah because the word Elohim and this is your ignorant your Abdul it is the word il il if we type here il is the word God il this is why it says Ishmael Israel Mikael Gabriel all of them the names either end with il or even start with il as an example one of the names of the messiah emmanuel emmanuel god is with us all right so il is a word meaning god it's not a name so those people are stupid what elohim have to do with allah nothing if you want to say al ilah here we go again that that word proven to me al is a word meaning god La originally is the moon god. Al ilah. Al is a word meaning God. Even the word il used to be al, and I made videos before about it, uh, uh, about the old uh, Hebrew and the ancient Aramaic. Israel, it used to be Israel. Ishmael used to be Ishmael. Mikael, Mikael. So il and al is one word. Old Aramaic or il, the old Hebrew used to use the word il, I mean oil, sorry, instead of uh, il. Il is, a, is something new. So when we say Allah, this is God, Lah. This is why in the second verse on the Quran it says, Li, Lah. Li is a word mean two. And he, this guy, he agree that this is a letter. Li mean to, to lah. Thanks to lah. To lah. And actually, the verse in the front of us in the screen, it's very unique, and that's why I put it in the screen. The chapter is chapter Ya Sin. Ya Sin. Chapter 36, verse number one. The Muslim interpreters, they say, Allah knows best what he meant by those letters because they are ignorant. Ya is a word meaning God. You see, I say to you, Islam is a collection of languages and he don't know. Muhammad do not know what he's talking about. He's just copy. Ya is a word meaning God. Sin is the name of the moon god. God sin. You can go right now and search in Google, Prophet Google, peace upon him. La, what is the name of the moon god? You will see either la or sin. And the reason for the different names, because different locations, different people. Sin mostly used in Europe. This is why even in English today we say, don't do sin. Why? What does that mean? This is pagan. Sin is pagan God. You are committing sin. So we are using the word sin coming from that. Don't do sin. When people they became a Christian, anything is wrong, they call it, they use this word as mean wrong. Pagan. Uh in the old days, there was two religions, major religions. One of them worshipped the moon, and one of them worshipped the sun. And that actually appeared in the Quran. If you read the story of Abraham, chapter 6, Verse number 76, Abraham, he saw a planet, a star in the in the sky. He said, this is my God, this is Akbar. Sorry, this is my God, did not say Akbar yet. This is resemble at that time how people worship stars. And this is why Muhammad in the Quran, he promised the Sabian to go to heaven. Because Muhammad himself, and we have a proof of that, he was a Sabian. So he said the Sabians will go to heaven. If you go to Muslim website, they will see they say that Sabians 
or stars worshippers. So how Sabi and they will go to heaven? They are stars worshippers, as simple as that. The Christians, the Jews, the Sabi, and Muhammad is a hypocrite man, like anyone who goes in election. You see, uh, Trump, he go in election, supposedly he support the gays, but in reality, I don't believe he do so. He's being a hypocrite, liar. Taqiyya. You know, he want to win the election. Obama suddenly he carried the Bible. He go to the church and he's praying. He want the Christians to vote for him so he can be president. He knew without them he will never be president. But all his life he was making fun of the Bible. Taqiyya. Muhammad is the same. Christian Jews at that moment, Muhammad, he don't have power to kill them. He's trying to convince them that he is a prophet for all of them, and all of them they will be all of them they are saved, even if they are Sabian, even if they are Jews, even if they are Christians. Then if we go, <coughs> we find here when uh, uh, Abraham, he saw the star, he said, this is my God, he worshipped the star. And then look at the logic. He says, I love I love not things which set. Hmm? So Abraham, he believed in the star. And then he disbelieved because the star disappeared. Well, why? This is the first time he see a star? He never saw, he never, he never seen night before. Uh, uh, Abraham was uh, held in jail inside the prison all his life and suddenly he opened his like somebody took him out of the jail it was night time and he saw the star first time ever and he says this is my god i worship you and then the sun appeared so the star is not his god and then he saw the moon he says ah, this is my god the moon here abraham is a switching religion from worshiping stars as sabians to worshiping the moon and then he saw the sun and he said, this is the son, this is Akbar, not the greater. Akbar was one of the names of the son. Haza Akbar, Haza Akbar. فَلَمَّا رَأَى الشَّمْسَ بَازِغَةً قَالَ هَذَا رَبِّي هَذَا أَكْبَر When he saw the son coming, he said, this is my Lord, this is Akbar. Allahu Akbar is merging to God. The moon god and the sun god. Muslim, they deny that. Okay, question to the Muslims, and I change anyone to call me. Why Allah have three daughters, according to the pagan Arab, which means Muhammad, the pagan Arab himself? We can show you the story where Muhammad he sent uh, Khadim al-Walid to kill Al-Uzza, and he killed her supposedly, the daughter of Allah. <laughs> How Allah, as God, where is the idea coming from? That God, he have daughters, three daughters. Who is the wife? Who is the husband? Any Muslim can tell us? Why the Arab, they believe that this God, he have three daughters. Who are they and who he, he married from who? Any Muslim have an idea? They go on in mute. They don't, they don't dare to, to answer. Who is a Muslim can tell us where is the idea of Allah having three daughters? Allah, he sneezes, he got three daughters, or Allah, he married somebody and he have three daughters from that body. Anyone? The moon God, Mary from the sun God, they have six, they have three daughters. Very simple. Otherwise, we change anyone to tell us from where. Muhammad Ibrahim, CP is a coward. Why doesn't come speaker corner? Why I want to go? Somebody told you I live in the next door to speaker corner. I live in America. Why I want to go to speaker corner? In speaker corner, how many people you will find there? Twenty? There we go. I have almost two thousand listening to me. <laughs> speaker corner. And don't worry about speaker corner now. Here we go. You are in the corner, without a corner. Can you tell us how Allah? The God of the Arab who worship him. What made the Arab believe he have a three daughters? Where Allah he got the three daughters from? What is behind the story? Mr. Speaker Corner. Anyone? Who is a smart, educated Muslim can give us an answer. What made the Arab believe that Allah have three daughters? <coughs> Anyone? 
They have no answer. It's a challenge. You know what? If a Muslim, he can call me and tell me what is behind the story of Allah and al uzza and Manat, I will apologize for you for being ignorant. I will say I am ignorant. Anyone can tell us who is a brave? Because I know many of you know the story, right? Who is the brave Muslim who can call us and tell us why the Arab believe that Allah have three daughters? And is it true that the Prophet of Allah, he sent his cousin or supposedly his relative to him from his family, Khalid ibn Walid, to kill the daughter of Allah, which her name is al uzza Or I'm lying. <clears throat> and he killed her? That's mean Muhammad believe really that Allah have three daughters. My friend, the one who want me to, uh, you want to ask me, you can ask me. You don't, do not need to call me. We make the, our call only for Muslims because we don't want to do as many Muslims they do. Two Muslims speak and attack in the Bible. We don't want to do that. We want to give chance to the Muslims to talk to us. Sadly, the guy who called me a few minutes ago, he didn't want to talk. He didn't want to just... And he, we can't even understand him. And he's a liar. Allah is a name. It's not a word meaning God. It means God, I mean, as a as included in the, in the word, because this is what the name of the God, supposedly. But all Muslims' website, they say Allah is a name of their God. This is why the Muslim, when they take Shahada, what they say? They don't say there's no Allah but Allah. Correct? If Allah is a word meaning God, then the Muslim, they should say, there's no Allah but Allah. Do you understand me, guys? If Allah is a word meaning God, then the Muslim in the Shahada, when they became Muslims, you have to say, okay, instead of saying there's no God but Allah, then why you don't say there's no Allah but Allah? If Allah just a word mean God, they don't do that because Allah is the word which is a name. So they say no God, la ilah, that is the word for generic God, ilah, illa law. And you can find right now, you can search in Google, you will find all Muslims agree that this is not a word mean God. It means God as included because this is the name of the God, but it is a name, not just a word. All right? <clears throat> we go back to the topic. So as you see, Islam is a collection of crazy stuff. And look at the logic of Allah. Why Allah is rejecting having daughters? Anyone? Did, did he have rejected daughters here? Look what he said. He says, what? Like what? For you the males and for him the females? What kind of God he says that? The funny the Quran says that the Arab, when they hear they have a daughter, their faces will turn bad. They get upset. But he is the one who's getting upset from the females' daughters. Do you see it? He says the Arab, they get upset if they have a female daughter but look what happened he said like what yours is the male and his is the female indeed this is unfair division do you see it is that my translation no So Muhammad, he rejected that Allah have three daughters, not just because they are daughters. <laughs> what is that? And this is an unfair division? What does that mean? For you the male, for me the, uh, the female? What does that mean? This is like a kid is talking, like what? For you the chicken, for, 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 for you the duck, for me the chicken? What is that? This is this is God speaking. My friend, I gave you a chance to talk to me. You are just a kid. You want to shout, you want to scream, and you are an idiot. Anyone can type right now. 
about the name of the, the name of the God of Islam Allah have 99 attribute right but one of them is a real name of your God <clears throat> Not an attribute. All right. <clears throat> any, uh, any Muslim? Hmm? Any Abdul? Nobody? I you see, they have no answer. <clears throat> this is a Muslim website. It says, the word Allah is a proper name, is not equivalent to any other language. Do you see it? This is your Muslim website. They lie, my friend. They lie. Allah, he refrain. You see, we, we, we were not able to speak to this guy because he shouted and he screamed like a mad person. But the Quran confirmed that. When Musa asked uh, his God, what is your name? What I will tell my people? He said, I am. He did not give him really a name. Now, when you read in the, in the, in the foreign language, you might think this is a name. Like when a, a person, he say, okay, it says Elohim, or it says Yahweh, uh, he might think this is a name because it's a foreign language but this is not a name this is just Elohim is about God and uh, I am who I am this is how God he presented himself I will give you an example chapter 10 verse Three, Lu your God, the translation here says your Lord, is Allah. So your God is Allah. If Allah is a word meaning God, we do not need to say your God is God. <laughs> right? <laughs> do you see it? Your God is Allah. That is what the Quran is saying. But when you speak to an ignorant kid, he shout, scream, and he is being stubborn, he is an idiot. He is upset because we expose that Allah is nothing but a moon god. La is the moon god. This is the Holy story. This is why they are upset. If you search right now, what is La? La is the moon god. La is the moon god. Allah is God La. This is what Al means. And we explain to you. Al 
in the Aramaic, Al in the Hebrew, the same as Il, is a word mean God, any God. So when we Christian, we say Emmanuel, huh? we say God with us, we did not name him yet, but because we are talking about Jesus, we know it is Jesus. Otherwise, Il is just the word mean God, a pagan person can use it too. I will give you an example from the uh, yellow pages of Muhammad. In the Quran, there's a God, his name is Baal. And Allah, or sorry, uh, Muhammad, I call Allah, he approved him to be God, and Allah is God, but Allah is the best. Ba al al is the word God. The God is Ba, and his last his 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 title is Al. Is God Baal? Are you going to cry for you know to to, to Baal and you forsake all, uh, the best of the creators? This verse confirmed that the God of Islam or Muhammad, Aka Muhammad, confirmed that La is the moon God who is better than Baal, but both of them are creators. Because if there is only one creator, how you say he is the best of the creators? That would be a lie then. If there's only one creator. When I say I am the best of the student and I'm the only student, that's him, I'm, I'm lying. Because I'm the only student. Correct? <laughs> Do you understand? If you say I am, okay, if you go to your mother and you say, let's say you were a kid. Hey mom, I be I I I I am the, the first in my classroom, and you are the only one in the classroom. You are a big fat liar. Because the second you say the best of, that means there's other like you. You are lying. The best, Allah is the best, but there's no others. Unless he agree. That there is a creator and then if we go and read the interpretation for this verse we will find that the one who said this it was not Allah it was not Muhammad it was a guy his name is Abdullah ibn Sarah he was the inscribed for the Prophet supposedly Muhammad he was reading uh, Quran or let's say reciting claiming that this is received this is from Allah asking him to write it so the guy he says to him Abdullah ibn Sarah, and this is appearing in two places in the Quran. When he heard this, he says, Praise be to Allah, the best of the creators. Who is, who is the one who said that? Abdullah ibn Sarah. Muhammad, he said to him, Write it down. This is exactly how it came to me. And I can show you this from the interpretation of the Muslims. You believe it? I can show you that this is exist in the interpretation of the Muslims for the verse. Saying that this guy, he said, when the Prophet said this, he said, Allah, so please be Allah, the best of the creators. Muhammad, he told him, write it there. He said, write what? He said, just write what you said. So blessed be Allah, the best of the creator. He said, but I am the one who said that. He said, it came to me the same as it came to you. <laughs> uh, Kira grammar you're an idiot because I told you I warn you many times don't force me to hang up on you and you're still talking keep talking keep talking you are just a kid so don't tell me you promise me I don't tr trust somebody he you see you're a man you're an adult all what I ask you for let us talk me and you and I told you, don't force me to hang up on you. And I told you, this is why I blocked you before, obviously. And here we go, I blocked you again. You're a kid. Allah is the best of the creators. Is something added by a guy, his name is Abdullah ibn Sarah and Muhammad, he put it there. Who is the one saying that? Who is a Muslim want to call me to show him the reference from your Islamic books? Any Muslim?
<clears throat> maybe Christian Prince is lying. Maybe Christian Prince is lying. I mean, you never know, brother. Who is the Muslim wanna call me? And he challenged me to show him the reference from your Islamic books that this is what the Prophet did. He took what the guy he said and he put it in his book. <coughs> Anyone? I lost my voice. Any Muslim want to do it? It's not me saying that. It is you Muslims saying that this is happened because a guy, his name is Abdullah ibn Sarah, he added those verses and Muhammad, he copied him. And not only that, he left Islam, this guy, because of this. Because when Muhammad he did that, he said, well, you know what? Obviously, Muhammad is not a prophet. <clears throat> He's not. If we go in the, the books of Muslims, chapter 23, verse number 14. Let us see here. I'm trying to find it for you in English. <clears throat> Let us see if we can find it. And look here, they are talking about that Muhammad is copying from Umar. Umar al-Khattab, he said that Allah, he agreed with me in three things. Allah, he took from Umar three orders and he made Quran exactly as he said. But I want to show you, let us see if we can show. <coughs> There's nothing here in English. Okay, let's see. Let us go to chapter 37, 125. No, but this is enough actually. Uh, but if we go in Arabic, for sure we will find it. If we go in Arabic, here we go. <clears throat> Who is a Muslim want to call me? So we can read the reference together. Anyone? Mayday, Mayday. Who is a Muslim want to call me so we can read how Muhammad he copy? Allah is the best of the creators from a person. His name is Abdullah ibn Sarah. Let me open it in Google uh, browser so we can translate to English. I could not find it in English directly, but so we will do this. This is the website of the Kingdom of Jordan. This is the book of Al Qurtubi, Tafsir Al Qurtubi, chapter 23, verse number 14. I will click in the front of you, translate to English. And here down you will see that this is a story of Abdullah ibn Sarah. He left Islam because he discovered that Muhammad is nothing but a scam. All right. <clears throat> Read. The man 
it was narrated that the viewer of Muaz and Jubair, etc., that this was narrated of one who said Abdullah ibn Sarah. And this reason, he became murtad, not the bounce here, became murtad, which means became an apostate. And he said, well, I, this is what came to me as I came to Muhammad, because he's the one who said that. Muhammad, he took it, he put it in the Quran. What came to Muhammad is the same as came to me. Muhammad, he says that to him, but he is the one who recited this first. He is the one who says, so I said, I said, blessed be the best of the creators. And then Muhammad, he took it, he put it in the Quran, and this is why he became. My friend, don't tell me I'm totally wrong. It's not me who's saying that. This is Al-Qurtubi. <laughs> I mean, this is the madness. This is Al-Qurtubi. What I'm wrong? Unbelievable. This is not me. This is your book. And do you see here that says the guy he bounced? This is very close person to your prophet. This is the brother of Uthman ibn Affan, the caliphate. He left Islam because of this. It, here in the, in, the, in the stupid Google translation, he says he bounced. He's, he bounced. Do you see it? No, I don't call kids. Let your dad call me. I gave you a chance. You're an idiot. Do you see it? Your prophet is copying the guy and adding it in the Quran? And he said, well, if the, if Muhammad is a prophet, then I'm a prophet too. Because I'm the one who says that. And Muhammad always he copy from people, you know, he copy poetry from Amr al Qais, he copy from Omar al Khattab, as we showed you. Crazy stuff. <clears throat> Any Muslim, you know, last last call before we go because I have I get to go. Any Muslim would like to call us? We can take one more call. I'm talking alone because when you call me, you are you were talking alone, you idiot. Get out of here. I gave you a chance to call me. I, I am the one who called you, actually, and I wanted to have a conversation with you, but you did not let me talk. You are a mad person. I feel sorry for your wife, by the way, if you ever get married. I mean, what kind of a person you are? You can't let people talk. Are you, call, are you talk, calling me to talk? Only you? Go, go, go open your channel and talk. But I will tell you why you don't want me to talk. Because you are afraid of me talking. So the only way you defend your religion is... We should not let Christian Prince talk because if he talk, he will get me busted. So you call me because you are terrified. You are talking to Christian Prince, how I can sign as this person. The only way I can silence him if I keep talking, screaming. That's it. Otherwise, I take Muslims call all the time and we talk. The guy before you, we spoke for almost two hours with all the crazy stuff he said. But at least he let me talk. And the topic is very simple. Is Allah is a name of God or not? It is. You do not need me. You can go right now and Google search. Ask any Muslim. You know, there's a there's a there's a website. It's called Ask an Imam. You send them. Send them a question. Is Allah is a name or a word mean God? Send them a question. You're an idiot. You are literally an idiot. There is tons of Islamic website giving you answers. 
Madness. <coughs> Hani Abdul? Last call. We have to go. We cannot stay here forever. Any Muslim? <coughs> Nobody. I don't know if you can hear my my stomach is talking. <laughs> I had not eaten since yesterday. Anyway, uh, anyway, guys, uh, uh, I'm busy uh, publishing my books. So yesterday, I uh, we we sent for print uh, my book Six and Allah in Spanish. So those who speak Spanish, my book will be maybe out uh, in Amazon, maybe in 48 hours from now. All right. Uh, if you speak Spanish and you are waiting for the translation So it's going to be out and then we will we will start working in the second publishing My voice is not good. I lost my voice <clears throat> And actually I have a dry throat uh, I, I wasn't planning really to go but I said those guys they did not hear me for three four days They might kidnap me if my dad show up <laughs> I, I burned even my upper lips I, I was drinking tea, you know, and you know those things like the cup it have a cover You know what I mean and that thing came out and the, it was very hot tea burned the upper side of my lips So it's hurting me when I talk too <laughs> Yeah, I have like a I have a burn in my upper lips it feel weird actually when I talk it feel numb <laughs> But I said okay, you know, I did not uh, show up for a few days uh, you know uh, that will not be good and tomorrow. I hope I will be able to do so and actually I have to cut the grass today because tomorrow we have a snow you believe it I Have to cut the grass before the snow come otherwise. I will not be able to cut it until the coming year the coming in summer, you know So I have work to do and you know when get late we cannot uh, turn the machine to cut the grass otherwise people will be upset uh, because of the noise Tomorrow we have a snow. Unbelievable. There's a global warming everywhere except around my house. Me. And by the way, how Allah He sent the snow, who remember? Where Allah He sent the snow? He sent it from mountains which is located in heaven. Right? Remember that. Science. This is God. This is God. This is God talking. This is the weather news of Allah. The weather news of Allah saying that hail come from mountains which is in heaven. And the Muslim will say he is lying. Doesn't say that. It doesn't say that, brother. It, no, it does. Chapter 24, verse number 43. <clears throat> it does. Here we go. Don't even try. And this is your scholar's interpretation, not mine. From mountains, where is ice? Meanings. There are mountains of hail in sky, which from, which, 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 uh, from uh, in sky from which Allah he sent down ice you see it do you see it this is their this is the smart Ibn Kathir who came 800 years after Muhammad he's smarter by the way than the rest his book is made to defend Islam and this is the Muslim interpretation in English which is false fiction translation far away from the truth because Arabic Ibn Kathir is far away from English Ibn Kathir even though, even in this, it looked like this guy, he forgot to take it off. 
And because I'm afraid that Allah he will throw from some of his mountains in my yard tomorrow, I have to cut the grass now. You see how much suffering he is doing? And look, but brother, 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 look what it says. Allah, he hit with it the one he don't like. Tomorrow we have a snow. Allah don't like me. You see it? Here we go. Allah, he hit with the hail, the one he don't like. Hmm, read, read. And he strike there in whom he wills. Did the Christian prince a second ago, he said that tomorrow he have a snow? Did he say that? Did he say only around his house, brother? Brother, did he say that? Did he say there's a global warming everywhere around my, except my around my house, brother? Did he say that? Here we go. Brother. Hey, brother editor. Did the person in name Christian Prince? And he always think about the time. And Tori, I cannot talk more because my voice is gone. Did he say that? Yes, he said that. So what do you want more proof that Allah is God? In my city, nobody will have a snow tomorrow. Only my house, around my house, only. Yeah. I think I forgot the refrigerator door open, the freezer. And now the Muslim, they will record my voice and say, did you guys hear Christian Prince saying only around his house, brother? Hey, brother, did you hear that, brother? Alhamdulillah, hey, brother. Here we go, Allah, he proved that he is God. And the other guy who don't speak Arabic, he, he knows how to say a few Arabic words in the, in the Fusha. Uh, oh boy. No, there is no teradam teradam because my voice is gone. Sorry. <laughs> and I will try to come back tomorrow. How many of you want me to be back tomorrow? Let's see. Let's make a vote. The only one who want me back, actually, the Muslims. They love me. They love me. I mean, I cannot imagine how much they love me. They send me always messages saying, Do you love me? Do you? Do you? Do you? Yeah, they, they love me very much. All right, this video will disappear for some time and then it's going to be updated the link because we post it in different place later. So just wait for it to be updated. And until I see you, I hope tomorrow, all right, I will do my best to come tomorrow. I hope my voice will be good. And uh, until I see you then, I say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And remember always, the truth will prevail. Never, never be ashamed of the teaching of your Lord like the Muslims are. That's why they deny the teaching of their God, because they are ashamed of it. We have nothing to be ashamed of. We are the followers of the Messiah, the living word of God, the living God, who according even to the cult of Islam, he is right now you know, listening to us in the, in the heaven. Right now as we speak, Muhammad is in the grave. He became dust and the Messiah is alive. And yet they said to us, how Jesus the man can be God? Well, how Jesus the man can be in heaven and everybody is dead? How Jesus the man, he can be son of no man, but yet he's born. How Jesus the man, he can be just a man, but he can make the blind see and he can make the dead come back to life. How come Muhammad could not do any? That is the truth, my friend. God who says, hail come from mountains in heaven is an idiot. God who believe that thunder is an angel is an idiot. God who he think that a human being is a creator from a clot, congealed blood is an idiot. God who believe that women have a sperm coming from the ribs of the women, specifically location of the nucleus of it is an idiot. God who cannot speak like God, who have no ethic, he cannot be God. So we give you many reasons today, not only three, but all of them, they, all of them, they go under one title actually. Allah is a fool, Allah is ignorant. Because if he's smart, he will not speak what he's speaking and he will be more convincing. But because he's a fraud and always lies will be exposed. Always. Liars, they expose themselves. Nobody expose them. Nobody can expose liars. They expose themselves. And Muhammad, I'm very thankful for him that he cannot keep his mouth shut. So the more he talk, the more he do poo poo. And the more he proved to us that he is a fraud. When Muhammad, he said the sun set in a murky water, he did not just talk. He is helping us. He is forcing himself to expose himself that he's a fraud. For he is a fool. And anyone is a liar is a fool. Because he can fool people some, for some time, but not for long. 
and then you will be punished by God for eternity by hellfire so you fool on yourself nobody can escape the punishment of the Lord and this is the fool Muhammad claiming that the Sun sit and sleep in a muddy hot water can Muslim they say this is not true this is not my words this is your prophet and this is Sahih Hadith and this is confirmed the Quran thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and we see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and we prove it always.